that an Iron Mouse raid? Oh my goodness! Amazing! <clears throat> Bruh. Bruh. Gamers, it's time! It's time! TO OPEN PACKAGES! Why did- why would you ever want to be a normal React Andy when you can react to physical stuff? Look at this. Whoa! That's my React Andy now, chat. We react to the short shit opening. <laughs> Alright. How are we doing today? Hopefully, as well, our camera doesn't do that annoying flickering shit it had been doing. Uh, I changed the wire. Let's hope. YouTube thumbnail covered. I had to bring out the Twitch shirt. You know, show my solidarity with uh, the purple color. <laughs> Even though I upload on YouTube, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> hey, if Ludwig's team red, I gotta be team purple, right? You know, I mean, but look though, we, we can, we can, uh, wait, let me get a, let me get a little thumbnail for Mudan. Hold on, needs a thumbnail. He's gotta eat, he's gotta eat chat, all right? Uh, hold on. Lift with your back, chat. Right? That's okay. Ah! It's a box of stuff! It's fucking massive, chat. This is so big. Also, ignore all my other brain game winnings down there. Ignore that. Ah! We do our thumbnails like, get this, get this out of here. It's ruining the shop. There you go, Rudan. It's on the house. Sorry, guys. Egg? Oh. oh, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. There's no difference. All right, this is fucking massive. It is actually huge. All right. Uh, it's very heavy. I think it's like 15 kilograms or like 10. It's probably like, it's like maybe, it's pretty heavy. No, it's like 10. It's like 10. All right, so we have this from Ludwig, right? And you're probably wondering, Connor, you guys aren't that good friends, right? He doesn't just send you stuff, right? Yeah, no, we're not. We're not there yet. It's <laughs> He doesn't know it yet. We're like a month away. Um, So let me tell you what's going on, chat. A while ago, I sent Ludwig a $500 box of all the Japanese goodies you could ever want. Uh, such great items uh, as, uh, what, uh, what did I get him? Bread in a can. <laughs> yeah, I got, yeah, I got a bre anime girl bread in a can. Uh, what else did I get him? Oh, I got him this stuff. <laughs> Look, I don't care what you jerk off to, but you don't have to be so headstrong on the nomenclature. Oh, another one. Okay. This is my favorite one. part. Next, gotcha girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I told him. I said to him, I said, I didn't know if it was going to be sexual or not. I, it was a gotcha. And I was like, hey, if you want to, if you want to take the risk, man, go ahead. Uh, but luckily there's a little, there's a little thing on the side. I think he missed where it shows you what's in there. What else did I send him? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I sent him a face hole. Hey, why are you laughing? What is this? <laughs> this is like a model they used to show how. That's uh chat. In case you don't know, that's where your PP goes, and then it goes inside. Uh, yeah, I, so I, <laughs> I thought he wanted cursed stuff, so I got him the most cursed stuff I could find, uh, in Akihabara, um, and so it was. I guess it was cursed. I also, oh yeah, I got him this. Uh, this is a. <laughs> you can't show this. I also got him a an insert camel toe. It makes you look like you have a camel toe. I don't know why Japan has this. Uh, what else? Why didn't I thought you had? I was in I, I was in like a hotel room when he was doing this. It was cursed. It was really cursed. Uh, I got him a Famicom. Really good, Thank you so much. Look at that. I guess that's the face hole there. I got I got him some pretty good stuff. I got a Mario Party two. That's pretty good. A eh, chat. And then what else did I get him? Uh, I got him. I got him Final Fantasy one and two on the NES. Um, that was kind of expensive. In box. And then th these were these were smells. So these are the only ones that had packaging that I could show. Um, 
This one was like an armpit of a schoolgirl. I know. Hey, hey, it's Japan, all right? It's not me. It's Japan, okay? I might have bought it, but hey, it's it, it was it's Japan, all right? Um, and then this other one is I don't know what it was. It was some like sweat or something. Yeah, those are the only ones that had packaging that I was like, oh, you can show these on Twitch. And then I think he I think he tried them out. Did he smell them? Smelling spray, and I think this is girl sweat. Oh, that's uh, but oh, that's blouse sweat. Wet spray. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah, you're, you're right. So it's just did they collect it? Do they harvest girls in a basement? I, yeah, is this ethically well, sourced that, girl sweat? Well, it's weird because that that sweaty one is specifically about a woman's blouse as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna it's smell like it now, chat. Let's see what he thought about my my, uh, my blouse the, spray. Where did they put it away? Did I miss it? I think the intent. A lot and I'm not, <laughs> dude. It smells like really. Oh, yeah, I did. Let's see what he says. You gotta air it. Whoa, <laughs> dude. It smells like really, really old popcorn. There is a hint of sweetness <laughs> to it. Friday night blouse what else? spray and. You put this lube in, you start furious. Oh, yeah, I got him the, ex the the exact right lube for the face mouth. You know, I didn't know if you actually wanted to use it. So I got him the correct lube, which is more like a syringe of lube that you have to, you have to lube it up from the bottom. It was, it was weird stuff. I got a bunch of very bizarre items. Uh, I think... <laughs> I was thinking... I was thinking in my head, chat. I was like, let's give, let's give Ludwig some content. I was like, what's great content? All this all this other stuff, you know? Like a wine pairing. Yeah, like a wine pairing. I got him a Tenga. I also got him, yeah, so I got him at one point. I think he put it in the video. I got him a US Tenga. And uh, it was like twice the size of a regular Tenga. And it was US Tenga and it was black. And I thought, I thought that was like, this is how Japan views the foreign pee pee. Um, which I, I thought was quite funny, but I don't think Ludwig realized that. Um. So there, that was that. <laughs> New or used? I, you can't buy them used. Listen, I was trying to get him a box full of content, right? I think I did that. Uh, I think Ludwig didn't appreciate some of the more scandalous items, but you know, that's fine. It's fine. Um, and I think he, he had originally made a box that was pretty normal. And then after he opened my box, he changed it. So I don't know what's in here. Uh, my box could be just filled with the most weird shit. Um, yeah, and also if you're watching this on Connor Dog, or if you do watch this, you know there, there is a reason to watch this again because I filmed a bunch of stuff when I was buying the stuff uh, in the stores. I tried my best to, to record as much stuff as I could. So the Connor Dog video will have like behind the scenes or some shit. Maybe it's weird. I don't even know what channel this is going on. I was like, who fucking knows? Um, yeah, well, this this is not going to be in the YouTube. Me talking about what's going to be in the YouTube is not going to be in the YouTube chat. All right. Oh, hold on. All right. All right, chat. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Chat, chat. Jean Perrier of sex toys. I, <laughs> I, I mean, I want to be able to show mine on Twitch. His, okay. All the stuff that Ludwig, I gave to Ludwig, I would have felt comfortable showing on my stream. W would it? Whether, whether Twitch would have felt comfortable with it, that's another question. But I felt comfortable with putting it up. That's how I judged it. I was like, all right, I'll put it on his, I'll give it to him, and I, I'd put it on my stream. I'd show a face hole on my stream. It's just a bit of rubber, you know? It's, it's just, it's just a, it's a bit of silicone shaped like a mouth. Come on. Ban incoming? I hope not. <laughs> Dude, thank you for all the subs so far. We've been, we've been gifted a lot of subs. Um... From a, a lot of people so far, so thank you guys so much. Uh, Maruishi, thank you for the five as well. There's so many long term subs. I see so many people hitting 12 months. It's Arago and uh, Mega. How do I? What? <laughs> Megas EU? <laughs> Bro, my streak about to end there. I'm trying to read names correctly. Like chat. No, don't AO. Don't AO. Okay. That was chat. I did not say anything bad, okay? <laughs> Chat, why? Okay, there was a, there's, let's, let's read a normal name. Um, uh, I am LT Gray. That's it, thanks man. Thanks for the seven, thanks for the normal name. Chat, it's not my fault, okay? It's not my fault. 
Thank you all the subs, though. I appreciate it, okay? All right? Hey, yo, no! <laughs> Korea, goodbye! No! Wait, do I have any... No, that's the wrong... This must be a sad sound effect. When you don't even get to open the package! <laughs> all right. Oh, shit! Shock Pikachu, thank you for the 10. All right, gamers. All right. Should we just slowly tear this box apart? I don't know how long it's going to take, right? Because, like, I don't know how long it's Logic Stream was. It's like two hours. I, If I go real in-depth with all the items, maybe we can milk it. Maybe we can drag it out. We just really drag everything out. We don't speed run. Right, chat? Oh, right? Content? Content? Just tear it up. All right, let me, let me open this bad boy up. It's full. It is full. This box is packed, chat. It's packed. In fact, I don't even... Did he reuse the box I sent to him? This looks like the exact same box that I sent. I try to get rid of that box for a reason. All right. I get it. He's a content machine. He's, he recycles everything, chat. He recycles every box, all right? Every, every stream idea. All right, let me... I'll cut myself. Okay. I'll cut this open here. All right. Oh. Oh. Fuck, it's so heavy. God damn it. All right. What the fuck? The fuck has he sent me? <laughs> what is this? Was there a label on it? Okay. Is this thing? Interior security pack. The interior security pack is not intended for exterior packages shipping purposes. Okay. All right, well, let's find out what's inside. Robert F. Kennedy, elementary school cougars. <laughs> what is, what is, what is, what is this? What is this? Chat, what aspect of American culture is this? I don't recall this when I went to America. This is new. All right, well, let's try it. I, I don't even know this fits me. What size does Ludwig think I am? It's from Haynes. What is Haynes? I don't even know what that is. Tagless. Oh, it doesn't say what size it is. Certified Cougar Hunter. Oh my. This is the, uh, this is the, the one to two ages size in America. <laughs> they start young. They start young, chat. They, uh, they fit. They fill in the shirts right away. All right. Oh, oh, it's such low quality, Ludwig. What the fuck? I feel like I could snap it in half if it got wet. All right. Well, at least I'm. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Robert F. Kennedy Elementary School Cougars. All right, sorry, chat adjusting always all right there's another shirt in here though oh my god what is this <laughs> he sent me a, a, a hoodie that says new hampshire the granite state <laughs> Bro, who goes to New Hampshire, Ludwig? For real. That, even that man left. It's an actual school? Where did he get this from? Why? The Granite State. S 1788. Oh, we have some pubs older than that in the UK. <laughs> what is this? Hey, I'm not going to lie, Ludwig. New Hampshire. 
they are they're, they're skimping out on the quality dude it's probably his old shirts i can't decide if it smells bad because it was made poorly or because ludwig wore it uh, i gotta take this off this is too hot this is <laughs> oh oh shit i'm flashing shit <sighs> that's a free chat that's a free all right don't say i don't give you anything for free chat all right <laughs> nip slip <laughs> for free for free what yeah all right let me get this bad boy on oh my god it's I gotta turn my AC on if I'm putting this shit on. I mean... Alright. I want to become a New Hampshireite. In another world chat, I could have been from New Hampshire. If I was born with a lower IQ, more heart. I should have something in the water. <laughs> Alright. How do we look? How do we look, chat? Hey? Not bad, right? Why looking kind of good? No, it don't look. What do you? What do you? No, it, it's he fit. It fits like a charm. I don't know what size Ludwig got me, but I mean, clearly he knows me. Oh wait, this isn't. No, chat. Chat, it's not. It's not old. There's a tag here. He didn't even take off the tag. Isn't that like rule number one of gift giving? You take off the tag. All right, well, I'm returning it to... What did he buy it from? JC Penny or something, probably? I don't know. <laughs> where do you even get this? How do you, where do you even get this from in, in LA? All right, all right. Next item. <laughs> Why would he get me this? America the Beautiful. A story in photographs. gonna be like downtown detroit number one all right let's have a look then oh wow the first one is puerto rico <laughs> wow what a beautiful what a beautiful territory it's uh, not ohio there's gonna be no ohio on here bruh <laughs> that's what i don't rip the book i won't this is this is a, a family heirloom we have new york all right well <laughs> all right well you know, can I just take it out of the sleeve for now? This is kind of annoying. Get the shit out of here. New York. I've been there. It's aight. It didn't look like this. <laughs> I don't know. This is this is hopium New York, man. New York did not look this good when I was there. I, every single time I've been there. Where are the people fighting? Where are the Elmos scamming people? It's not New York. Next up, we have... Is this from... Uh, Georgia, yeah, this is from, uh, this is from, uh, what's that one Tom Hanks movie? Uh, uh, I forgot the name of it, chat. Forrest Gump. Yeah, this is the tree from Forrest Gump. All right. I don't know why that's on there. <laughs> All right, okay. Ocean. Wow, no one else has got that. Wow. Western Pacific, Eastern, Mid Atlantic. Yeah, Mid. South and Caribbean. Midwest and Central. Oh wow. Okay, I see. So when they when they said America, they really stretched. All right, they went for the entire America. You know, all right. Okay. All right. Like all right. A nicer tree. Why is text in a picture book? Mid. Ludwig, what is this? You think I was gonna read this? Oh, fuck it. This book smells awful. Is it? Is it something in that thing? All right. He wanted to make you read. I am reading. Chat. I'm reading. I'm reading find ohio it doesn't exist chat land of promise well i mean all right let's get berries and shit Sick. all right Hara westover i mean that looks cool it's like the new sh that looks like the uh the new red dead dlc all right all right nice no okay smells like freedom <laughs> It doesn't. What the fuck? Is it a desert? Oh, it's, oh, New Mexico. Damn. This is this is what I thought would be in New Mexico. I didn't know it was actually like this. I thought all they had was Breaking Bad. <laughs> Walter. All right. Rocks. All right. All right. 
Does 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 Ludwig have one of these? Does he read this? Is this what Americans do? Is this what they they go through? They just Guam. Alaska. Alaska. And this one just says Barack Obama. Barack Obama. No else no place else could have provided me with the environment in which I could not only grow, but also get a sense of being loved. Wow. Thank you. What else do we have? Arizona? Alright, well. What what is Am I missing something? I think I'm I think I'm too British for this. California Utah? Oh yeah, they're the Rockies. Alaska, alright. I'm still not seeing any Ohio chat. Oh, wait, did I see Ohio there? Oh, Idaho. Even Idaho is getting credit. Uh, all right, caves. All right, Ludwig, I get it. You wanted me to read and, and look at pictures of America, even though none of these are New Hampshire. I don't see a single New Hampshire. Let's, let's, uh, no New Hampshire. Pretty, must be a pretty boring looking state. Arizona again. Oregon. Wow. Let's skip. I think it's like Maryland. All right, here we go. Washington, D.C. Dude, there's like nothing. Nothing on New Hampshire. New York. All right. Well, not a fan of New York. Vermont. Oh, you got Vermont. Still no New Hampshire. All right, New Hampshire can't catch a W. There, oh, there it is. This is included in, in uh, oh, this is in New Hampshire. Is this really in New Hampshire chat? This looks too good to be in New Hampshire. Check the index. Oh, yeah, there's probably an index. You're right. Uh, wait, is the index on the back? Wait, where's the index again? Is it pretty, isn't it normally in the front? Crazy. We went over it. Oh, wait, it's, it's this thing. No, I'm dumb. Index in the back? Dude, you can tell I don't read enough book. Oh, here we go. New Hampshire. They got four pages. Where's Ohio? All right, Ohio is 355. Let's go have a look what's going on in Ohio. Let's see if it matches what I saw. Gen Z. UK education. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've read a book. Look at a year. I just pick up and play, bro. I don't go with the index. <laughs> is this true for Ohio? Oh, shit. Is this true? This one's Ohio. I think this one's Ohio too. Yeah, this is, these are both Ohio. Oh my god. Nebraska? I'm good. I'll pass. Illinois. Is it, this one's Ohio? This is not Ohio. I should have this. Okay, let's skip. Let's see if we can find more Ohio. Okay, North Dakota. North Dakota. I know there was more Ohio somewhere, chat. I saw it. Indiana. Is there really any more Ohio? Is that it? Is that all they got on Ohio? 380. All right. Is that going up? All right, Ohio. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, they had to make something. <laughs> well. Yeah, I mean, another Ohio. Uh, this one's Ohio. Why do all the Ohio ones look so meh? What did you, what did you say, Mike? Someone just said a five. Many famous astronauts are from Ohio. They were inspired to leave the planet because they grew up there. That's true. That's true. After I went to Ohio, I understand why now there's a lot of successful people from Ohio because you just want to get out. Uh, you, you know, I went to um, Cleveland, Ohio. It was not very good, I will say. All right, Ludwig, thank you for the book. Uh, if any of the viewers want to read this, I'll give it away because I don't, I don't read. <laughs> I ain't reading this. I don't want to know about America. So turn my lights off. Can you, can you turn my lights back on, please? Auction. There we go. Auction. Oh my god, my coffee's cold. I made it 40 minutes ago. Oh my god, that's so sour. 
Why? Hmm. Well, luckily, I have something to wash it down with, chat. Oh, what the fuck is this? I have this. Cheez-Its puffed. Are these good? Why do they go off? Why do they go bad? I was made in America, so it goes off in like 15 years. Because they just make shit last way too long. Used by June 23. Real food. <laughs> Shut up, chat. Let's try it. The extra, are, they, are they extra toasty? What are they? Oh, extra toasty. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. I've had a cheese it before, but I haven't had this variation. Just give it like, let's give it like four. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, it's so dry. Oh, the cheese tastes so bad. Made with 100% real cheese. Fuck off. No, it's not. It, no, is, is it fucking balls? No way. Oh, that tastes so bad. Ew. On the back, it says, melt in your mouth texture. Bro, it's like sandpaper. What sandpaper melts in your mouth? I've had cheeses before, and I don't remember them tasting this bad. Like, these taste like dry and like, like old. Fucking hell, it's all coming out of the bottom of the box. Jesus Christ. Um, I've got a bunch of fucking Cheez-Its on me. God damn it. America can't even fucking make boxes and bags right. Oh, what the fuck, Ludwig? What the fuck? They're a vacuum now. God damn it. Let me try one more time just to confirm my hate it. Oh, fuck. Get off. Oh, no, I don't like it. I could see... I can see how you could eat a ton of those in a row. But I'm glad I don't have to eat any more. But luckily, Ludwig got me another box of extra toasty. Why? This is it the worst flavor? You thought I... You probably, you probably thought, oh, Connor might like it. Connor might like it. Let's, let's get him another box, just in case. He might like it. Oh my oh man. Wait. They're leaking out of the box, right? Does that mean that the bag was open and they're stale? The bottom of it was open. Let me try. Oh no, there is dust at the bottom. Let me, let me crack this boy. Let me have a look. Does every Cheese Its box just have like a handful of crumbs at the bottom? What the fuck is up with that? God damn it, it's everywhere. What the fuck? I wonder Americans don't vacuum. Every fucking snack gets everywhere. Oh my God. Well, thank God I don't have to eat any more Cheese Its. Except he brought me another fucking flavor of Cheez-Its. Why, Ludwig? Why would you buy so many of these? This? This is the best your culture has to offer? Dude, okay, I'm, a, I'm gonna say this. UK has the best, like, snacks, like, savory snacks in the world, bro. Our crisps go so hard. Compared to this shit, awful. All right. All right, no, that's not cat. All right, let me try this. White cheddar. Oh, 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. The white cheddar flavor. I, oh, wait, shit, Minecraft? 350 coins and build for better. Yo. Quick, guys, scan the QR code. All right. Oh! Oh, that's so bad. It's like rotten cheese. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> How do you guys like this? Oh, it's like... Oh. It tastes so bad. This does not taste like white cheddar, chat. Have you guys had white cheddar? This is not how it tastes like. Oh. Oh. Does Ludwig like these? Only original are good. I had original and they were fine. This is bad. Oh. I'm trying to get some water. Hold up. <laughs> I need some fucking water, man. I need some water. All right, chat. Some water. God damn it. That tastes awful. How can you guys eat that? What was the box originally for? Mmm. The spicy flavors? Ooh, that sounds good. Should have got that. Okay, no more cheeses. What is this? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Cork coasters. Each set contains a single layout of a selected state. Uh, but made in China. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nothing more American than, than what is made in China. Oh my god. What is this for? What am I gonna do with this? This is this is like not big enough to do something else, but too big. That was, that was quite a nice bottle opener. I'll take that. What's this? Mount Rushmore. It's in South Dakota. Am I correct, chat? Put drinks on them. This is pretty, pretty flimsy. All right. I was right. No, good. Got it. Uh, Bourbon Street. Or if you're American, Bour Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street, right? That's, that's how you say it, right? Uh, that's my Markiplier impression. It's like a... Looks like it's made out of like a sock. What else do we have? Statue of Liberty. All right, resident sleeper. Louisiana. What's this? Hoover Dam. Yeah, that's a... Uh, All right. Liberty Bell, I went there. You guys should fix that. Red Rocks Park. All right, yeah, that's pretty cool. Why is there so many co Who needs this many? These are big coasters as well. What's this one? Castillo de San Marcos. Where, where's that, chat? I don't know where that is. Golden Gate Bridge. All right. What's this one? Cloud gate. Oh, the bean. It's the bean. Just call it the bean. All right. It's the bean. What do we have here. Oh, the gateway arch. Isn't this in um Missouri? And and it's there so that God can grab onto it and fling Missouri out uh, of existence whenever he pleases. Baltimore, Asheville. Why do I even know? Why do I know this from Missouri? What's wrong with me? Why do I know this much about America? No, no British person should know this much about America. Uh, 
Baltimore, Asheville. All right. And then Lincoln Memorial. All right. Okay. All right. Well, Ludwig, why would I want these coasters? I have many coasters already. Why would you get me coasters? What about this is the American spirit, Ludwig? No Alamo? I guess there's no Alamo. I guess it's not famous enough. Sorry, Texas. I think that's Texas, right? All right, let's put this back in. United States of mid, if you ask me. I have more coasters. I do have a lot more coasters now, and they're all US themed. <laughs> Why would I want US themed coasters? Made in China, by the way, chat. I can't believe this man's giving me coasters. Do you just think I'm like, like that we've never, we've like no other country has ever experienced coasters? We've like never had it? It doesn't exist? <laughs> like, allow us to bring some culture to this country with a coaster. <laughs> Secretly an admirer of America. I do like America a lot. But I also love making fun of America as much as I love America. So it's like, it's, you know, it's, it's a tie. Oh. You did give him sex toys. Hey, I gave him content. The best content known to men. Wait, now I'm realizing. What was $500 in this box? By the way, I don't think you spent $500. I'm seeing the rest of the box. I'm... All right, what is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Oh my god. Fruit fruitables? What the fuck is this? Oh fuck. That's like a chocolate or something? There's a lot of them in here. Why is there so many? Right, let me open one. Shipping is full 50. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me let me. They smell like chocolate. Is it? Is it when do they go off? <laughs> Best Buy, May twenty twenty five. What the fuck is in these? Oh. Chat. Bro. <laughs> what is that, dude? What is that? <laughs> it's old as shit. It says it's good till May 2025. Is that mold? No, that's not mold, is it? I don't know what that is. Don't eat. Box was damaged. You think so? Maybe. Okay to eat. It's the fat. Oh, that's nasty. Let's see if all of them are like that. Oh, uh. Classic American food. Classic Ohio snack. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. As much as I want to have content... I want to be able to function today. Oh, <laughs> ew, dude, that's... <laughs> uh, someone said... What did someone say? Uh, because the temperature changed the chocolate, it's fine. It's fine. It's just melted a bit. Let me try a little bit. I'll trust you, chat. Try a little bit of it. I'll bite a little bit off. It's like, um, it's like if you added cocoa powder to water, like it doesn't taste like chocolate. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like anything. It's like, you know, when you make hot cocoa with the powder, it's, it tastes like how that smells. 
Like, I wouldn't say it's real. It's very odd. You'll turn American now? Yeah, that's not very good. Why that chocolate? Is that like a is that like a staple in America that I don't I'm not familiar with, chat? Is that like a common chocolate that you get? It's a chocolate to gift people. No. When do you eat that? With poor people. God damn, dude. <laughs> That's dollar store chocolate. What? Would that entire box be a dollar? It's the cheapest stuff. Fucking hell, Ludwig, bro. This is what? This is the kind of gift he gets his homies? All right. Dollar store Lamau? Like, like if you, if, like, this is a lot of chocolate. Like, the weight of this is quite significant. Like, if this is like a dollar, I worry how bad it would be. Like, that's, the chocolate should just flat out never be a dollar if it's that, you know? Maybe five dollars. What is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Oh my god. What is this? What the fuck? I thought it was going to be the alcohol. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. It's bourbon. I, I just wrote maple syrup initially. Is this shit good? Oh my god, it actually looks like maple syrup in the thing. How much is this? I'm, I'm gonna be that- you know that friend who looks up the price of the gift? I'm gonna be that bad friend right now. Crown, maple, syrup, bourbon. <laughs> it's 28 bucks. <laughs> I know what it is. It is maple syrup. It's not. I thought it was bourbon. It's bourbon barrel aged. It's not actually alcohol. <laughs> Wait, it's it's. This is thirty dollars though. This uh, maple syrup. That's quite expensive. Two tablespoons. Oh my god! All right. Well, should I give it a shot? Can I just try the maple syrup on its own? I want a little swig. Get a little swig. Let's try the quality of this. I, I, I'll be honest, chat. I scarcely use maple syrup. Uh, even on like waffles, I'm kind of like, eh, I'll use a little bit. I'm not like crazy about it. Let me, let me crack this boy open. Let me have a swig of this boy. I'll become a true American. Okay. It's very viscous. Oh, but, no, sorry, very runny for maple syrup. Right, let's give it a shot. Add it to my coffee. Is that like a big brain move? Wait, so how does how long does this last? It's maple syrup, right? So it should last a very long time. Um, doesn't even say. I guess it just lasts forever. It lasts for a long time, right, chat? 12 minutes. Refrigerated after? Do you actually? Stop tilting it. Wait, why? All right, let me... I gotta crack this boy open. Oh, whoa, that came right off. Oh, I thought that was going to be. Okay. Let's, uh, let's pour a little bit in the cap. Let's, uh, try a bit. Uh, nah, nah I'll, yeah, I'll be good. I'll be good. All right, that looks pretty decent. Look got like a fair amount in there. I don't know if you can see that chat. I'm focusing on. I don't want to pour maple syrup on my desk. Give it a shot. Ooh. That's pretty fucking good. Damn. That's nice. That's good. I like that. That's really nice. Sticky cap now? Yeah, I gotta go wash it. Oh, that's so fucking nice. Death by sugar? Bro. I'm gonna put that in my coffee. Washing the cap. Washing the cap. I can chug it. This shit's good. 
I like this one. This is the first W, Ludwig. The first good thing in the box. <laughs> Put it in the fridge after opening. Okay, well, hold on. I, I need to go to the fridge anyway, because Ludwig sent me something else. Why did you send me so many of these? You could have just sent me one, Ludwig. Why did you send me... Why did you send me eight? Someone said first W. And no. Uh, just add water. Microwave for 3.5 minutes. Enjoy. You don't even bother. What do you mind? It's ass. I saw Joey devouring these things on the tour bus, man. Joey was going ham. How much water do I add? Remove the lid and add cheese sauce mix. Oh. Add water to fill line to cup and stir. All right, chat. Well, here's what I'm going to do, chat, because I don't have a sink in this stream room. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to fill it up, microwave it, come back, wait 3.5 minutes, and we'll go back and get it, right? And I'll put the maple syrup in the fridge at the same time. He's a fucking big brain. All right, let me, let me kill like 15 birds with one stone right now. All right, I will be right back. One second, chat. I'm going to get the most American dish when I'm back, all right? I'll be back in two seconds. Don't go anywhere, chat. Hold on, chat. Wait, 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 wait. I wanted to do this on camera. I wanted to do this on camera. This is what this god-awful shit looks like. Americans be like, wow, what a scrumptious, delicious meal. Bad. And then this is the paste, which I'm guessing is like the cheese sauce. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put this in, then I gotta add water. So let me... Okay. Let me... It says cheese before, chat. It says cheese before. Chat, it says add it before. Remove lid and add cheese sauce mix. Stir in cheese sauce. What the fuck? Oh. Wait, what? What, what are these fucking dumbass directions? Look at this. Remove lid and add cheese sauce mix, which is that thing, right? And then also stir in cheese sauce mix. I was saying remove it from the packet. God. Oh my god. Idiot. All right. Legally illiterate? Sorry, chat. I thought it meant put it in. That's why there's pictures. Yeah, damn. Even the pictures didn't help me. Remember, chat, doesn't matter how smart you are, there's someone who's always dumber. <laughs> and that person today is me. Can't find the index. Can't figure out how to fucking stir in a mac and cheese. Um, it's in the microwave right now. Yeah. Well, sorry, chat. I don't eat these strange combinations of food... It requires me to read before eating, all right? I just eat. Japan has spoiled me. It's a snack for children. <laughs> yeah, not for me, all right? If my food comes with instructions, I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm gone. I should send him a UK box again, then he can send me an even better one. You're in the land of instant ramen? Yeah, shit's amazing. It's just so good, dude. I don't really eat instant ramen. I did add water, yes, chat. And I've got this thing here ready, this disgusting thing. That I, I've, I've seen it before. It's so vile. 
so messed up. Oh yeah, chat. <laughs> let me show you. Let me show you this video that I came my recommended today. While we wait, look at this. <laughs> Honey, where are my adult diapers? That's an American, right? That's an American <laughs> saying. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That did just seven seconds of like the smoothest animation ever. <laughs> Honey, where are my adult diapers? That's an American, right? That's an American <laughs> saying. Why? Why did they animate this? Thank you. Thank you, Robbie Elliott Art. I appreciate it. I don't know, I don't know why they animated it. it was... It's so goddamn good. We're just waiting five minutes for our mac and cheese. There's actually not a lot left in the box. It was a heavy box, but... There's not a lot left. Oh my god, I just saw some of the other stuff he sent me. So smooth? Yeah, I know, right? It's like buttery smooth. All the cheese? He sent you a shit box. No, no, no. We, there's more stuff, chat, right? But so far, mine's better for sure. Mine's better for sure. Mine's better for sure. <laughs> Show us while we wait. No, no, no. We gotta wait. The anticipation. I, don't wanna, I also don't want to knock over this mac and cheese thing. Nothing in that box is American. Is, the, is Kraft Mac and Cheese not the most American thing known to men? It's five. Yeah, I know it's three minutes, but our microwaves are like way less strong than your guys' microwaves. In America, I, I would put something in the microwave for 10 seconds. Shit was molten lava. In Japan, I put it in the, in the microwave for five minutes. Nothing happens. It's Canadian? Maybe he's going for the continental America. Kraft is Canadian. Wow. And America really can't get a W. I'll go have a look at it. I'll go have a look at it, chat. Awful. This shit looks so bad. Look at this shit. Ugh. All right. This shit goes hard. What are you, ten? Ten year olds be like, damn, this shit goes hard. Like, right, let's pull this stuff in. What is this? What? I didn't make it right. What? What are you on about? Board in and me. All right, chat. All right, all right. I only got so many hands, chat. Oh my god. Not enough. Water. Why are you guys judging me? All right. I'm trying my best here to be an American. All right. Ugh, why does this become like a... Like a goo? A tad butter enhances it. I remember Joey was putting like meat and shit in it. Why is there so much of this cheese stuff? I feel like it's fucked either way, chat. I don't know. I think a bit of flavor would enhance it. All right. Worse than bachelor's pasta and sauce. I can see why Americans like this. Like now it looks more, way more palatable. But like, damn, is the process to get here weird. 
Why is there so much of this cheese stuff? This packet never ends, chat. All right. Done. All right. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't smell that bad, actually. It looks and feels wrong. Like, like cheese should never come in that form. Look at some of these, like, little crusty. All right. <laughs> Better than British food? No. Fuck off. Americans are like, oh, British food's so bad. And then they'll, 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 they'll eat like this. And they'll eat like fucking Cheez-Its. You know? And then they're like, what the fuck? Is it ready to eat? Can I eat it now, chat? Good, right? Good, right? Add beans? Alright, let's give it a shot, chat. Got a nice big, uh... Hold on, I got a burp. Is there butter? No, I'm doing the base, alright? I'm going for the base taste. I'd rather beans on toast than Kraft and Mac. That's true, dude. Alright, let's have it. Mm. It doesn't really taste like anything. It's like... The cheese smell is really strong, but the taste is so weak. It genuinely tastes like plastic. Add milk. It's so... Chat, is this not flavorless? Am I insane? COVID? No. There's like barely any flavor. <laughs> Why are you guys spamming COVID? No, this thing's shit! Oh, the cheese is a horrible aftertaste of like. Oh. Oh. Still better than British food now, nah, dude. That's copium. This shit's awful. This shit is awful. How does it look like that? How did the cheese do that? Genuine, dude, you know those videos where they used to put like ramen noodles and everything and then like sand it down? You could do that shit with that. That shit's that shit could hold up a building. Add smoked paprika. Yeah, so everyone I've seen ever eat this stuff who's an adult, they're always adding stuff to it. Like they add like like you said, smoked paprika. They add some spices. Because I feel like the base the base thing is just not flavorful enough. Like you need something else. Like it needs something else, like some salt for sure, pepper. It, yeah, but I get it. It's like the most basic form of mac and cheese, right? But like literally any mac and cheese I've ever had in the US is better than that. Like the, the US does great mac and cheese. Why is that one so bad? I guess it's cheap, right? It's cheap. Very cheap. All right. Salted butter and milk. I, it, wait, hey, chat. Chat. <laughs> if you add salt, butter, and milk to anything, it's going to taste 10 times better. It's basic for kids. This, this is what you want to feed your kids? I like how you guys, some people think the kids you don't need food. They're like, ah, just fucking uh, give them anything. Whatever, just make them fucking happy. Whatever, kids, what, kids don't need to eat real food. That's for adults. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, like what? What is this logic? It's kid food. Don't worry, it's not for adults. It's shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, you don't understand. See, there's, in, the, in, the, in the US food of hierarchy, it's adult food. Dog food, kid food. <laughs> Add more cheese. If, I feel like if... I, okay, in my head, I was literally about to explain just making mac and cheese. I was like, just take the macaroni and add your own cheese. And I'm like, well, then what? I don't know. Yeah, real cheese would definitely help a lot in hiding the kind of mess of consistency. I think it's like the rubbery texture. I'm like, that <laughs> sticks together so much. 
Oh, it smells awful as well. All right, let's see what else we got here. Bubble, bubble. Why? Why does every like? I I know the answer to this, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. This is a rhetorical question. You can never get like a medium-sized bag of, of sweets or candy. It's always large. Like this is such a big amount of, of bubble gum. All right, America's original. All right, chat. This is America's original. So if you guys let me down, it's America's fault. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, that looks pretty, pretty tough. Why not first be able to bite into it? Oh my god, my teeth! Oh my god! And the flavor's gone already. I had two bites of flavor and it's gone. The flavor's gone. Whoa. That was like one second of flavor. What the fuck? Oh shit. I don't know how. Bro, America's original. Yeah, because no one else would be fucking stupid enough to make it this shit. <laughs> no wonder they give you a bag full of this much of it. They're trying to get rid of it. They got like a surplus. Mm, God, me some blow bomb. Yeah, let me try again. I'm gonna need, I think I need another gum, but I don't want to eat another one. You need like four for a bubble? Bro! Let me try again. It loses flavor. If it loses flavor, eat another. No, <laughs> no. Dude, this shit tastes so bad. I, I had one bite of flavor and it, and it was gone. Okay. Oh my, even the fucking wrapper is shit. Oh, I up. Hmm. This is why Americans have big jaws. Yeah, no fucking shit. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. My jaw. <laughs> oh my god, it hurts. I'm gonna do another one. Oh, it's so delicious. Oh. Okay. We're gonna have a big bubble though. There you go. <laughs> oh my God, this hurts so much. I just wanna blow a bubble. Please, I beg you, let me blow a bubble. Please. Okay.
If you swallow it, you'll have colorful poop. No way. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Oh my god. This bubble's so small. Blissful peepee -pee thing with a 15. Bro. Oh. Mm -hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. I had it. No! Oh! I had a good one! That was good! That was a good one. Come on, chat. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one, eh? American. I'm American now. Blissful PB, thank you for the 10 and 15 subs. <laughs> no. Okay. Double bubble, dog shit. Craft mac and cheese, awful. Cheese it's terrible. Oh my lord. Ludwig, dude, my box my box so far way, way better, dude. Way better. Way better. I got you way more of the culture. Alright, what's next? What is this? Who the fuck is this? <laughs> you did not. What the fuck? I don't want this shit. Why? Dude, what is this, dude? Stain on the top, man. Damn, dude. Put it in a jar? <laughs> Self-promotion? Yeah, I don't know. I got a lot of figures, man. The build quality is... Oof. I don't know, man. <laughs> Who's this? Who is this? <laughs> Into the jar. I got a great mason jar at the ready for this, Ludwig. Damn. I like the little watch, little ring, and the, the flip flops. It's on brand, eh? Uh, I think not bad, you know? Um, how'd that be nice? Very, oh, it's broken. Okay, no, yeah, it is actually broken. <laughs> Did you send me a broken figure, Ludwig? You sent me like the fucking scraps at the warehouse? What is this? The flip flops missing. What is this, dude? Like the, the, the tester model? What? It, it doesn't even stand up now. It doesn't even stand up! Ludwig! Is it in here? <laughs> Ludwig! It doesn't stand up! <laughs> you, you, you gave me the, like... This is the fucking... 
prototype one? I have to like mate. <laughs> I don't know. It came broken. I'm like, all right. All right, now it stands out. What? I mean, this is like more softer. What? Why does it stand up that way? Oh, this is tilted. That's why. I'm trying to show you guys. On my desk, it just doesn't. Oh, shit. I didn't press end stream. <laughs> Ludwig's plan to make sure it doesn't go in the jar. Thank you, Ludwig. I appreciate it. I appreciate the gift. What, what better gift than to be able to look at you every single day? Right? Right, Ludwig? I'm, I'm, guys, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm seeing Ludwig in like two days, I think. Yeah, it's like two days. Yeah, genuinely. I think it's like two days, right? All right, what else we got in here? Oh my God, dude. American stuff so far is so bad. Use the gum. <laughs> I should, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to America uh, in like two days. Uh, for like a week. We're gonna, we're gonna, me and Ludwig are gonna do some stuff, but also we're gonna watch Chris Box. Oh man, did you really have to send me this? Oh man, how many did you send me? What the fuck is this? the best Ugh. all right if i eat this what what two of these is 67 grams of carbs do i just eat it as is what's the best way to eat them Do I have a toast? Do I have a toaster? Toast it? I don't know if I have a- Do I have a toaster? I don't know if I have a toast. Wait, what else did you send me? I thought you sent me so many flavors. Oh my god, Ludwig. You sent me like five flavors. Just to microwave it? Is that really how you do it? How do you, how do you do it? Put in microwave. Heat for three seconds. At a time until warm. What? Oh, heat three. Oh. What? Heat three seconds at a time until warm enough. What? Tier list? All right, I'll tier list it. You sent me two of the same flavors. All right, hold on. Okay, you know what, chat? You have to give me a minute then, because I'm going to have to microwave them. We also have um, strawberry. You don't toast it either. All right, Ludwig, you're the, you're the, you're the goat here of, of Pop-Tarts. What is the best way to eat a Pop-Tart? What is the best way to prepare it? Should I, should I have raw or should I, should I toast it? What do you think? Wait, I'll be real, that's just gross. It's just a mistake. <laughs> Chat's saying raw. I'm hearing a lot of raw. Do all three way. What? Both? Well, let's see if it... Let's see how good this one tastes, first of all. Man, they're hefty boys, aren't they? They're like big fucking boys. This is the, um... The cookies and cream one. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, oh, there's two in here. Okay. Do you only ever eat two at a time? You don't even you don't ever eat like one? <laughs> Bro, why it look like that? Alright, let's have a bite. Oh, not bad. I got no filling. Oh, that was a filling. All 
That's quite good. Yeah. That's nice. I like that. I think, um... I definitely would taste better toasted. So what I'm going to do is chat. I'm going to try all of them. And then I'm going to... Is it, what, is it a breakfast cookie? No, it's not. Proudly baked in the USA. Proudly baked in the USA, boys. Okay, that one's good. It does taste like I'm about to die, but it does taste good. Like, let's not, let's not kid ourselves and pretend that, like, it's not got every single sin known to the body I inside of it. Let's try the strawberry one. So this is the frosted... This is the frosted strawberry flavor. Let's try that again. Wait, can you can you focus camera, please? Pop tarts, proudly baked in the USA once again, and there's twelve in here. How much would a normal box of twelve cost, Chat? Just curious, what it, what it costs at like a Walmart? Oh my fucking god! It went all over my chair. Fuck! God damn it! Like six bucks? That's not bad. Hold up, chat. I got shit all over my fucking chair, dog. Hold on, hold on. Let me um let me get it. Let me get a plate. I need a plate, chat. I can't live like this any longer. Alright, I'll clean this shit up later. Ugh. I'll vacuum that up later. That's future Connor's problem. Alright. Like $5 a box? That's pretty good. Alright, let's, um... Let me take this out of the packaging and let's... Oh, for fuck's sake, I flicked it all everywhere. Alright, let me... Okay, let me... All right. <laughs> that does not look appetizing. Alright, here we go. Average American meal... Be like, oh, the please don't fall. Come on, I can't have this. Looks like a like a children's art project. That looks bad. All right, I'll toast it after I've. Let me okay, let me rip it open. I'm gonna rip it open in half. And then, so I want to get the filling right away. Chat, I don't want to waste my time with the edges. It looks okay in the middle. Let's try it. Oh no, that's bad. Oh. Oh, that one's bad. Ugh. Why did they make it like that? All right. I'm a big fan of blueberries. So I'm hoping that the blueberry flavor will be much better. The Americans can redeem themselves with this one. Let me have a drink of my coffee and rinse my mouth. <laughs> For fuck's sake. And <laughs> cleanse my palate. All right. Blueberry's the worst? What? Is it really? Let me... Oh, it looks like a children's toy. Oh, man, they look awful, don't they? They just look... Oh, they look shit, don't they? They just look awful. All right, let's crack it open in half. Okay, well, yeah, that's blueberry. Hmm. Definitely like really artificial fruit flavor. Um, much better than the strawberry. It's fine. That one's fine. Like, if I was a kid, I'd probably eat the shit out of these. You know what I mean? I think the fact that I just can't eat this stuff in the morning. It's like 11 o'clock for me. This stuff is just too much in the morning for me. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot, chat. And there's one more flavor in here. It's brown, brown sugar and cinnamon. I think I've had this before. I feel like I like this. Was this on an after dark? Did I have this one? All right, let's try it. Let's try it out. Try this bad boy out. I had this one on after dark, right? 
This is the OG. Alright, let's... Well, I mean... I don't they always look like that. It looks like someone spread their shit <laughs> on a cracker. <laughs> it looks like a skid mark. Right up. Oh yeah, that's good. That is good. That's good chat. I like that one. That one's the best one. The cookies and cream one's pretty good, but I think the cinnamon one's better. Who doesn't like cinnamon? I love cinnamon. Cinnamon's awesome. Who doesn't want to eat cinnamon, right? Should I toast them all as well to judge? Um, I think I have a toaster. I, again, I don't know. Let me have a look, chat. I'll be, I'll be right back. Grab the... Because you live in Japan, you don't toast stuff ever. Quickly, Gobby. Oh, I've had too many of these stupid fucking things. All right, I got to fall. Oh my god. Why, why? Why am I here to suffer and try this fucking awful food? All right, they're all toasted now. Okay, that's way better. That's that's like significantly better. All right, that's like a that goes from like a six to seven or eight. Let's try the cinnamon one. Oh, that's good. That's like a nine. That's so good. That's so bad for me. I can tell. I can hit. I can feel my organs quaking. All right, let's try the toasted strawberry. Oh, it's so bad. It doesn't fucking taste like anything. All right, let me... <laughs> Blueberry, open up. 
Let me try the blueberry toasted. The blueberry tastes worse. It tastes worse after I hit toasted it. The cinnamon one is the goat. Cinnamon gets a nine out of ten. That's, a, that's an S tier. The uh, Oreo one, cookies and cream. I guess we can't call it Oreo. This one. Uh, this is like a A toasted, B not toasted. Blueberry is a C untoasted and it's a d tier toasted and strawberry is just f tier bottom of the barrel fucking garbage all the way because i have another strawberry in here i can't i can't bring myself to do it chat by freezing them i don't fucking chat i don't want to chat i don't want to ever eat another pop tart in my life chat i'm over pop tarts no one wants these i'm done i'm done no 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 more! I'm getting rid of this shit. Oh, damn it, I meant. Guys, you guys are like fucking scared of real food, I swear, man. All right. Full stuff. Damn, dude, you live like that? Yeah, my, a mess. my house, my, my office is a mess, chat. I've got all the crane game winnings. I gotta figure them out. Why, why have the pots taken over? Who did this? Was this Ludwig's doing? All right. I have, I have like one or two more things in the box, I think, chat. And then we're done. And then we're done with this mid box. Do this IRL. All right, fine, chat. There you go. All right. Come in. Come in. <laughs> what is this? Why? It's like broken, Ludwig. House rules. Start of the game. Each player on their team shoots once. If ball goes in cup, that cup is removed. What are special rules? What is that? The cup is made that is not in play. Put it back. What? Teams are allowed two re a game? What? Is this for real? Damn, that's, that's, that's impressive. I should have done that when I went to the beer pong bar. What is this? Why were... What am I going to do with this? Are you playing beer pong? Look at my office. It's a mess. I, I, I barely get me in this room, let alone somebody else. This is useful. People always make up rules as they go. <laughs> Chat, beer pong isn't about the rules. Beer pong is about getting drunk. And whichever method gets you drunk in a fun way, that's the best way to play beer pong. Yeah, we did beer pong on stream and we know how it goes, all right? And there's one more thing in here. One more American thing. Oh, something about handcrafted in Wisconsin. What is this? What is this? Oh, for fuck's sake, why does everything I open, Ludwig, have like crumbs on it? What is this? What is this? What the fuck? What is this chat? Am I missing some information? It's kind of sick. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Handmade in the USA. It's just a novelty glass. What is this, Ludwig? Okay, what is this? Tell me how to make a drink. I don't know how to make a drink. Your glass should last a lifetime. 
just like your love for America and drinking. What? That's what it- Oh shit! Paper star bit gave me a hundred! Hand wash only, avoid ice dispensers, microwaves, and clumsy friends. Oh. Hundred subs! God damn, thank you so much! Paper star bit, appreciate it. It's kinda cool actually. Wish I got the bullet one though. The bullet one would have been sick. Just a bit- uh, Oh, that's kinda- Actually, that's kinda sick. That's kind of sick. How do you how do you make this? That's pretty neat. Look at that. This is where the four hundred dollars went. <laughs> can you hold it from this? I guess you can. That's kind of sick. I like that. Got like a nice handle on it, so you, you know you know where you're drinking. Um, I fuck with it. I kind of like it. Is this like a normal thing in America? Benshot.com. They have like a beer glass with an axe, axe in it as well and a bullet. It's kind of sick. It's like, is this like American Etsy? Like, <laughs> like Etsy in the rest of the country is just like, oh yeah, we have like pretty anime artwork. And then America's like, you want a bullet in your glass? Huh? <laughs> if this was $500, Ludwig has scammed you. <laughs> Chat, what's the verdict? Did we get scammed? Did Ludwig scam us? Did we? Uh, we gave him high quality arousal erotic toys. What did we get? We got a glass with, with, with this in it. Scam, bro. That's mogul moves right there, dude. I got, I got mogul moved. <laughs> Damn, I, sh I went too hard. Oh my god, blissful PP gave a hundred as well. Oh my god, thank you, man. Actually scared. We got fucking pop tart. We got fucking pop tarts. Let's go. <laughs> well, hey guys, I'm sure this class is worth a lot of money, right? Right, chat. We <laughs> benshot.com. I'm sure. I'm sure this was an expensive gift, chat. I'm sure he wouldn't mug us off. All right. It's 200, 250 bucks, right? It's, it's bad conversion. That's great. How much is the bullet one? I want to see the bullet one. Patriot glasses. <laughs> oh my god. Look. America rocks glass. Second Amendment. Well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Uh, yeah, that checks out. That checks out. The bullet one is so American. Why didn't you give me the bullet one, Ludwig? That's the most American thing ever. I guess the problem is, is that it's hard to buy things for me uh, when I've literally been to America like a million fucking times. And Ludwig's never been to Japan. But also, even if you come to Japan, you would, you'd never see the stuff I got him. It's very much, you have to know where you're going. You, you have to know what you're doing to find the sex toys. Why is my country like this? We don't have shit like that in the UK. That shit's like cringe as fuck for us. I think being proud of our country is cringe. <laughs> All right. In what world does this... <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, I gotta ask him, I gotta... <laughs> $500. <laughs> Box, huh? <laughs> I call him. I'll call him. I'll call him. I'll call him. He, he, he's not going to pick up. We'll see who picks up. He, he's always busy, chat. I'll give him a ring. We'll see if he picks up. Ask for a receipt. <laughs> I'm. I'm <laughs> I'm interested to hear his thought his thought process. Alright, well we'll see if we, we'll see if it picks up. Oh, he's filming a yard episode? Damn it. Damn it, we got scammed, chat. We got scammed. I've the five hundred is the hospital bill. Alright. I mean 
I'm sure the picture book was expensive, chat. I'm sure it was a very expensive picture book, right? All right? Right? <laughs> right? $400 tip. <laughs> it's an American box. You have to tip it. <laughs> Let me see. Let me try to find this book. I want to try to find this book now. Found it. I'm sure. I'm sure it isn't $19.50 on Amazon. No. <laughs> I listen, I'm a lot of wouldn't skim. The gun. What? There was a gun? What? <laughs> Apparently there were, he said, did the gun make it in? I said, no, it didn't. What? Did he actually put a gun, like some form of gun? Like a fake toy gun? <laughs> that, that's so funny. <laughs> Japan would... Japan, no way they'd let anything even remotely ship like a gun through. I'm surprised I'm not, I didn't get arrested getting this package. You ha you can have airsoft, but even then, I still think even fake guns you can't ship in. I, I don't know. I think it's pretty strict. Maybe. I don't know if he's memeing though. He could be memeing. He said he's doing the pod right now. <laughs> I'm on a list. I'm, I'm definitely on a list now. Hold on, chat. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something. Play the Avengers music, chat. The only thing that can clean up an American's mess is a British invention. The Dyson. Check this shit out, chat. Hold on, let me show you guys. Sometimes you just need the real shit to clean it up, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's clean, all right. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah, there we go. Get the chat. This needs a deep clean, chat. All right. Nice. 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 It's the new Twitch meta. I'm not vacuuming. It's the meta chat. Okay? This shit is... Honestly, chat, this shit, this shit goes hard. All right? You should get it. Go get one. I'm not sponsored by them. But if they want to sponsor me, I will accept. Vacuum ASMR. Dyson's so good, man. I'll be right back. Chat, I think the verdict is I got scammed. I'm just gonna say it how it is, chat. Here goes, here goes scammed. I think, uh, I think Lugwig pocketed, you know, maybe a 300, 350 bucks, and um, probably claimed down his taxes. Like, oh yeah, I spent 500 bucks, oh, 500 bucks on this box. Oh, I don't have the receipts. Oh no, can't believe it, dude. <sighs> can't believe it, dude. Is he always a scammer? Does he always scam? You see the clip where he said he entirely forgot about it? He forgot about it until I sent my box. Yeah, yeah, all right. So I was going away on tour and I had like four days and Ludwig was like, can you get the box to me right now? And I was like, what? I'm like, I, I mean, I don't really have any time. I got to like prepare, but I, I guess I can sacrifice some other stuff to get the box ready. So, so I, you know, I go out of my way right before I go on tour and I... I, I get, put this box together. I spend a whole day that I needed. And then on stream, he goes, oh, I forgot about it. What? What? So that's how he made a profit on me, chat. That's how, uh, you know, I got scammed. I had said, that's, you know how Ludwig makes those fucking videos? I said one video, Ludwig's like, I got scammed. That's going to be my, my next video. Ludwig scammed me out of $500. <laughs>
I actually spent five hundred dollars. Like to the I was so precise that it's like one thing I wanted to buy. I was like, nah, that put me on like five hundred five bucks. I won't do it. I, I I respect the sanctity, right? Classic American. American culture classic. Classic American culture. You got him a console? I got him an I got him an NES. <laughs> got him an NES! I got him Final Fantasy 1 or 2 in box! Let me see, I don't even know how much this shit costs. Final Fantasy. One and two. Same box. NES. I don't even know how much that shit is. I found it. Here it is. How much is this shit on Amazon? On US Amazon. Uh, you can't even buy it. <laughs> oh, there, oh there's, it, it was never in America, this one. Just a cartridge alone in the US is 30 bucks. I got an inbox, dude. Inbox, man. Friendship, dude. <laughs> huh. What's this? This one's Shopee. I don't use Shopee. That's for like Southeast Asia, right? I got him Finding Nemo on the GameCube chat. Finding Nemo! Can't believe I was scam chat. I didn't even include shipping in my price. I couldn't find it. Find it. Finding Nemo chat on the GameCube. You know how much that shit goes for? Five bucks. But in here, priceless. This is a joke? Yeah, this is a joke. I don't actually care. <laughs> hey, I got my video out of it, chat. I got my video, all right? He sent a minion to a shop. <laughs> yeah, he, did. he probably didn't do it himself. I got his Costco order. <laughs> yeah, I got his Costco order. Drama alert. Dude, put me on Felton Franco right now. This is the difference between a YouTube creator and a Twitch creator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One one makes a good box, one makes a bad box. <laughs> Platform diff, yeah, you know. He's on YouTube too, he could show more as well. You know, I just, you know. I, I'm gonna get scarce on the phone. I'm DMing scarce as we speak right now. <laughs> ah, no. I, I'm actually mad, chat. I, I, either way, we, we got some good stuff, we got some content, that's all that matters. I'm just memeing it up. I, I I knew that the stuff that obviously in America the stuff you could send isn't going to be as interesting as the Japanese stuff. Let's just be honest, it won't. The Japanese stuff is way more hype. Um, if I did a British box, I don't even know what the fuck I'd do. Like, what would I what would I put in a British box? Beans on toast, crisps. Um, like, what do we have? We don't have anything. Walkers, Greg's. <laughs> Tesco meal deal, that'll that'll go bad. Tea. Maybe Listen, chat. All a lot of the good tea, we It's not. It's not a Don't fucking grow. <laughs> do we grow tea? I, I'm pretty sure we don't grow tea in the UK, right? Do we? Oh there is. Oh, I didn't even know we grow tea in the UK. I thought we just imported that shit. Apparently there is. Currently grown commercially in several sites in the UK. I didn't know that. Why did we conquer the rest of the world then? What was that all about? I thought that was for the tea. <laughs> hey, Dyson, yo. Bro, imagine it. Imagine it. I'm like, I'm going to send you a $500 British box and you just get a Dyson. You're like, well, shit. I'm <laughs> oh, this is the best box ever, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, di di dude, that would be hype, dude. So I actually, I bought one of those fancy Dyson humidifiers because I, here, here was my thinking chat. I bought, I bought the Dyson vacuum and I loved it so much. I was like, this is so good. The humidifier must be so good. So I bought the stupidly overpriced humidifier thinking it was going to be good. And it, it's shit. It's so shit. I don't even know why I bought it. It's a waste of money. I bought a Dyson last week and it shipped with a dead battery. Ooh, it's not good. They are amazing though when they work. A whale's box? What would I even put in it? What would I even put in a whale's box, chat? Leak? Um, a sheep? Incubated, probably? Um, 
A dragon? I don't even know what I... Sheep. Why am, wait, why am I googling sheep? No. Whales. Okay, I just, why did I go... Alright. Burger King secures go-ahead for new North Wales restaurant. Why is that news? Why is that news? Where is it? Why are North Wales there? Where is it? Probably Wrexham or some shit. RTA 55? Shit in it. Why is that news? Why is that newsworthy? Why is that... Dude, when you're a small town, man, man, they just do anything. You know what's crazy? When I grew up, I lived right next to Wrexham. Uh, uh, that Wrexham, the one that Ryan Reynolds uh, and uh, I forgot the guy's name uh, from Always Sunny bought. And when I grew up, uh, Wrexham was like where you go if you want to get stabbed. So that's crazy that, um, that now it's like cool. It's a, it, very weird. It's very odd. It was like such a shithole when I was growing up. It was so bad. It was like you would make fun of Wrexham. You never went to Wrexham. It was bad. It, it, all they had was like the hospital. Does a new TFT set come out? <gasps> is it out? No, it's not out yet, is it? They stabbed all the uncle <laughs> people. No, no. I, it, wasn't, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was just a lot rougher than the surrounding areas. Tomorrow? Fuck, I want to play it. Let me hear a look. Because the old TFT sucks. I got Diamond 2. That was my highest rank. And I'm over it. Alright. It's not out yet. Swansea's bad now? Yeah, Swansea was... <sighs> Swansea was pretty bad. Is my bathtub ready? Wait, why am I getting in the bathtub? Why am I getting in the bathtub chat? It's out for me, but I'm an OCE. Damn it, I, I play on America server. Wait, what are the game of the year things? Game of the year. What are the game of the year awards? Can we have a look? All right. All right, so game of the year. Wait, what are the nominees? Let's go to the nominees. Oh yeah, run a <laughs> Shut up, chat. Okay, game of the year. I guess we'll start with game of the year. All right, here's my... Okay, I'll, I'll get chat. I'm going to go through all of my predictions, right? Of what I think game of the year is going to be. Uh, and I'm going to be right about all of them. So, just keep that in mind, all right? I can't even... Wait, why is it not like... Can we stretch the screen? And then let's stretch it out. No, that's not right. Okay. Put like that. A Plague Tale Requiem, I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna be honest, chat. Let's just not waste any time. It's Elden Ring. Do I have to sign in to vote? Hey, can someone sign in and vote on behalf of me? Elden Ring for sure. That's my prediction. Best game direction. Elden Ring for sure. Best narrative. Well, I actually watched the cutscenes in Elden Ring, but it's probably gonna be God of War. Um, that looked like it had a better narrative, but Elden Ring was good. Um, best art direction. Um, that's tough. I definitely know it's not Horizon Forbidden West, though. Um, I, I never played Scorn. Scorn looked sick. Um, I'm just gonna say, yeah, I'll say Scorn. That would be nice. That would be nice if we live in a nice world. Best score in music? <sighs> Come on, man. Elden Ring music was so god-tier, dude. It was so good. All right. Best audio design. I have no feelings on this. I know the card, ge card, card games have normally very good audio design. Best performance. I don't, I've never really watched enough to know. Games for impact. For a thought provoking game with a pro social meaning or message. Dude, I didn't play any of these. I, I haven't even heard of any of most of these. It's a cool category, though. It would be annoying if it was all just like, did Elden Ring win the category 32? Best ongoing game. Oh, fuck. I mean, I don't really want to say Apex, but that's the only one I know. And that's how these, these, these awards always work. You just vote on what you know, not what you actually think is the best. Because no one is playing all of these. Because if you played all of these, uh, you wouldn't have any free time. You And also, you would not, you would not exist in, in the world. Um, I'll just say Apex, sure. Best indie. Oh, I never played Cult of Lamb. That reminds me. Never played that. Neon White looks sick too. 
I don't know. I, I feel like it'll probably be... Oh, Sifu, that was a cool game as well that I never wanted to play. I never, not, never didn't want to... So, no, not that I never wanted to play. Game that I wanted to play, but I never got round to. I should do another, like, long-ass seven-day stream so I actually get around to playing these games. Stray, I guess. I never played Stray, but I heard it was mid. Best mobile game. Apex Legends. <laughs> no way. What the fuck? No way. Are you kidding me? Best community support Apex Legends. What? It's got to be No Man's Sky, right? That shit was on, on point. I don't even play that game, and I know that community support was insane. Oh, my lord. Innovation and accessibility. Hey, that's always a good category. Dude, I remember that, um, fuck, which, I, I don't know if they, if this was a category last year, but I know that, um, um, what's the, the game that, uh, everyone hated, um, the story game, and the second game came out, and everyone hated it, um, the one where the guy and the zombies, Last of Us, yeah, Last of Us 2, that had, like, insane accessibility. I'm glad this is a prize. I, I hate it. And it's mainly Nintendo that does this, where they don't offer accessibility options. Like, why can't I customize the subtitles? Just let me choose how I want the subtitles to appear. It feels like it should be good. And also give me different ways to play and remap buttons. This should just be normal. So I'm glad this is a prize. Uh, I imagine it's, yeah, it's probably Last of Us or God of War. Uh, the Quarry had a really good one, actually, as well, no. The Quarry was really good, actually. Quarry let you do everything. I just think that every every game should allow you to change the subtitles and remap buttons, if you so please. Why not allow people to do that? Not everyone can use the controllers the same way. Just just let us remap. All right. Best VR AR? Among Us? Didn't that make people sick? <laughs> I never played Bone Lab, but I heard that was insane. I, I have, I've bought Bone Lab. And I meant to play it. I don't have the... Rock boom sound effect. I need that. Best action game. Bayonetta 3, Call of Duty Model for 2, Neon White. Oh, I don't really have a dog in this race. Best action. Oh, I see. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Fucking hell. I was sneezing like Tom and Jerry, dude. <laughs> Tunic. This game looked cool. I, I, I don't know why I never looked at more into this. Um, Elden Ring. Best role playing game. I just, saw, I just saw Elden Ring and said Elden Ring. I didn't even read the category. I just assumed Elden Ring. Tunic was super good. I, yeah, I really want to play more. Best fighting game. <laughs> DNF Duel. JoJo's Our Fighting Adventure. The King of Fighters. Multiverse. Mm, it's not going to be JoJo's. Um, isn't the JoJo's there like a remake of a previous game that came out like two years ago or four years ago? I can't remember. It's like not a, not a, it's not like brand new. It's, I mean, DNF Duel is sick. Multiverse will probably win if I had to guess. Um, best family. Um, Kirby. The Kirby game was pretty fucking cute. I watched Joey play it. Uh, best sim strategy, Dune Spice Wars. That's a game? God, you know that shit is going to be impossible difficulty to understand. It's going to be like, here is the 50 hour tutorial. Mario plus Rabbids. All right. Mm. I mean, I didn't play any of these. I know Victoria 3 is a very popular game. Total Warhammer. Two Point Campus. I have no dog in this race. I'll just say Total War. I'll say Warhammer. Because it looks fucking epic. Why not? Best Sports. Resident Sleeper. Best Multiplayer. Overwatch 2? Yeah, what is this? This looks like ass. Like these games, like I don't know if these are the best multiplayer games. These four, these four at least. I don't know about I don't know about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Really, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two? No, I don't want to sign in. Fuck off. Splatoon Three? Really? Really, guys? Really? Content creator of the where? Am I? Where am I? For a streamer or content creators made an important positive impact. <laughs> Fine. I don't want to be on here anyway. Ludwig. Yeah, such a good content creator. I love when he scams me. And other content creators. Last when he scams people. Last when he scams $500 boxes he promised. He promised.
Cutie deserves it there. I mean, Cutie, yeah, you know, you know. No, Carl's a great guy. Carl's a great guy. Carl's never scammed me personally. Um, you know, N Nibbleon. I don't know how to say your name. I'm so sorry. He's never scammed me. Uh, no Nobaru. Never met the guy. Don't know who he is. Never scammed me. So quite frankly, I know who should win this one. I don't even know. When did they add this category? What the fuck is this? Best debut indie. Hey, I'm a content creator, and I'm not just saying this because I'm not, I'm not nominated. Maybe we should keep it, you know, maybe you should keep it to games. <laughs> Best debut indie. Oh, that's sick. I mean, all of these are, all of these are good. I'm indifferent. Best adaptation. Wow! Wow, well, well! <laughs> Where do I begin with this one? This is going to be a hard category. Now, get, don't get me wrong, Chad. Don't get me wrong. I think that I think there's a good chance that Cyberpunk could could win this one, but I think personally, I think Arcane. It's got to be Arcane, right? I man, it's got to be Arcane, dude. That shit went so hard. Arcane went so hard. Sonic Two was just Sonic One extended, dude. It's got to be Arcane, right? Come on, Uncharted. No, no, Chad. No. Cyberpunk Edge Runners was goaded though. It actually made me want to play Cyberpunk again. But I said no. Um, so yeah, I hope Arcane wins it. Most anticipated game. AKA, which game will let you down the most next year? And I think that Hogwarts Legacy is going to be the biggest disappointment of next year. If I had to guess, it's going to be the biggest disappointment. Um, or Starfield. One of those two is going to be the biggest shit game next year. Most anticipated, though? I mean, it's got to be Zelda, right? Like, everyone has been waiting for this shit. They, they delayed it just so they could win this prize. Um, I, I, dude, I would love a... Man, I, I'm a big Harry Potter guy, and I would I would love a Harry Potter game that went, that went hard. But, dude, it just feels like everyone fumbles the IP. Like, I feel like no game studio can capture, like, the feeling of, of being in, like, a Harry Potter, right? Like, the way that you do from watching the movie or the book. It's so hard to make a game on magic, right? Of course you do. I mean, hey, listen. When Ma when Mario when 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 Harry Potter was out, I was li literally the target demographic. Like I grew up with Harry Potter. Where well, you know when the first one came out, I was like a fucking stupid little kid, and then I, I grew up with it and became more edge lord, right? So I was the target demographic, a British kid at the exact same age as all the kids. So of course, I, me, and all my friends liked it. We all liked it. I, I fucking loved it. it. It's great. Like I, I think the Harry Potter universe, and and is like one of the best ever. I think JK needs to stop talking in general. Um, but the universe itself is like, you know, and, and it's obvious by like how insanely popular it was that everyone fucking loves this universe. Everyone fucking loves it. So just, just can we get a good game, please? I'm begging you. Can, is there any, is there any like footage of this game or anything? Hogwarts Legacy. All right, Hogwarts Legacy um, trailer. <laughs> So a revealed trailer. Okay, let's. Am I gonna get copyright claimed? Ah, oh. oh, fuck it. I haven't seen this yet, so. Thirty-two million views. Magic, both beautiful and powerful, binds together our long history. There's, there's no gameplay trailer. All right. That common bond we share is the legacy. Of Hogwarts. Alright. Okay, that's glory to these hallowed walls. And quite possibly shape the future of the wizarding world. Okay. Alright. Every corridor. It looks good, but I, it's easy to make it look good. Every stone in this castle. There is gameplay. Witches and wizards who came before. Oh, look, Hogwarts gameplay. Right, what was this one? It could work with open world. I think it could. That's just new new broom gameplay. All right. <laughs> wow. This is the new game with broom-like gameplay. On the D-pad is that grid represents where you might slot spells. And so okay. right now, today, it we're looks not going to be going into the spell slotting menu because we feel like there's a lot of... The sound effect, though... Like, looking back at the past trailers, it was just music, but kind of... There's a lot of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, just we do something, please? He responded according. Re re 
and we essentially see it as kind of like chapters in that narrative. Each do I, do we have a fight or something? Yeah. Mostly play. This person could have colored kind of shields yeah. around the different characters. And you also notice that your spells have different colors on them. So to help players understand kind of like the function of their spells, we're yeah. trying to put them into brackets. So there are damage spells, there are force spells, there are, um, I'm forgetting the other one, all of a sudden, control spells. That's pretty good, actually. So those things for the player, yeah. they wind Doesn't up look also bad. being a color indicator for which... I wonder how it'll, how deep it'll be. ...which used to break the different shields that uh, enemies can use. That's that awesome. way it rewards kind of like that close right. attention right. that you're paying, paying on things. Kind of seems you know, like the rest part. of the time it's dudes talking. I mean, it looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical though. I'm skeptical. I, I, I think Harry Potter has had has really struggled to make good games, so we'll see. All right. So I think for this one, it's going to be Zelda probably. I think Zelda's going to win this one. Best esports game. I mean, it's got to be League of Legends, chat. I know. I know. No one wants to give League anything, but come on. It League this year was so fucking hype. Come on. Watching League was was so fucking good. The, the esports scene is the best, like straight up. I, I've watched Valorant. I've watched C CSGO. It's it's good. It's solid. But dude, come on. The storylines, the storylines in League and the production is insane. Best esports athlete. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Really? No. No DRX. Just, all right. I guess Faker. I guess it's Faker's going to win again. Maybe. Probably Faker. It'll be faker. It'll probably be faker or, or simple, I guess. All right. Best esports team. Ladies Clash. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Maybe. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> Bro, who are they? Who are allowed? Oh, they were in the league. I don't know. I'm half LA Thieves. I never heard of them. Dog Zero Esports. What was that loud? You like that one, chat? <laughs> you like that? <laughs> that voice actor. I, I, I feel like, I don't know, recognized a specific esports team, not the full organization, judged the most outstanding for performance conduct. I feel like, I feel like DRX should be on here now. Come on, man. Ace Clan Omega LOL. Best esports coach. Yeah, I don't know any of these. <laughs> Best esports event. Oh, come on, boys. The World Championships were so fucking hype, dude. It's hard, though. This is so biased. Like, if you don't watch any other event, how the fuck would you have any... any? I, I don't watch any of these other events. I mean, Evo is probably hype because Evo is always hype. You know? Evo is pretty sick. But League of Legends World Championship chat. About. What's it about? What do they tell me? Jeff. <laughs> like that. Advisory board. The goats. Oh, Phil Spencer from Microsoft. I love that guy. Where's, where's, um, where's, um, where's Ludwig? He should be on here. Bowser. Bowser's on here? Wait, where? Doug Bowser. Damn. Nice. Nice. I like how they're just like Valve. They're like, eh, I don't know, someone, someone at Valve. Someone at Valve will say something. I don't fucking know. They'll say something. When, when is the when are the Game Awards happening? The Game Awards uh, date. Uh, 9th of December. Uh, oh, wait, that's like tomorrow. Wait, is it tomorrow? No. I, I can't even fucking count dates correctly. GMT, no, no, I want it in America time. EST. Oh, I think I'm... I think I'm... Oh, I'll be... Oh yeah, I, I'll be uh, I'll, I'll be here. <laughs> Does anyone like the Game Awards though? I remember I didn't really care last year. I didn't watch them the year before either. <laughs> and they feel very corporate now. I don't know if they were ever not corporate. It's kind of hard though. Because obviously the more the more the more time like corporate investors or corporate sponsors get involved, it becomes harder to like keep it as like I don't know something that's that's for everyone. But also, gaming is so big now. Like you know before. Everyone was playing the same. Sorry, stop smacking this. Everyone was playing the same games, right? Everybody was was playing Halo when it came out, right? But now it's like you. Everyone can game in their own way. So the biggest games of the year don't reflect how maybe gaming is for you. And so it's. I feel like it's. It's almost impossible to to feel like it's. It's kind of the same problem as the Oscars, right? Because movies are so big. 
and obviously you're not watching the movies that the Oscars are watching, and, and it does it kind of feels always out of touch. And I feel like that's the problem it has. Also, why YouTube, I think, I think that YouTube should bring back YouTube Rewind, but, but do it like how Spotify Rap does it. Do it how, like, for you, the individual, right? So I thought about this. I saw on Twitter that everyone was posting their, like, Spotify Wrapped. I was like, you should have that with YouTube. And it tells you, like, who you've watched the most. Like, who you, like, it sends you an email being like, oh, you watched, you watched uh, Scamwig, like, 20 hours this year. And that'd be cool. I think that'd be sick. That'd be sick. I think that'd be awesome. They kind of did that. No, they didn't, did they? You have it with YouTube Music? Wait, do you really? Where? Where do I get this? I, I want to see mine. How do I find it, chat? I use YouTube Music. I don't use Spotify. Email? Ah, why is it in my email? God damn it. I'm going to type YouTube Music. Please don't be in my trash. My music tra library has been transferred. Is it my junk mail, maybe? Junk mail, copium? Please? Sex dating? I'm 30 years old looking for a lover. Okay, I'll save that one for later. Uh, man, I didn't get it to my email. What the fuck? I'm so sad. Damn it. I didn't get one. God, I have a lot of emails though. Fuck, I should, I should have a look at this. A package has been delivered. Oh, that's nice to know. Phone app. Phone app. Okay, phone app. Guys, I got a new phone. Pixel 7 Pro. I wanted the Fold, but then I, I realized, of course, I'm cycling all the time um, lately, and I, I can't have a phone mount for it. So, uh, okay, phone app, and then I go where? My recap. Watch now. Um. All right. Hold on, hold on, chat. Hold on, hold on. Let me get back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. All right. One phone a year, Andy. I, I am at this point. Um, okay. Does it play anything? It doesn't even play any music. If I download it. Can I download it? What are they? I don't even know what I downloaded. I listened to 8,238 minutes of music this year. And there was one artist who had it on lock. Who do you think it is, chat? I, I listened to The weekend a lot. It was The weekend. Uh, I was in the 0 0.8 top listeners of on there. So my top artists are The weekend. Uh, I don't know how to... I've never known how to... Tame, Tame Impala? Is that how you say that? I always fuck it up. On there. Parcels and Tom Mish. I don't know how to say that. What's this thing? One song truly defined your year. Tell me what it is. Out of Time by The Weeknd. I did listen. I listened to it 91 times. It did go hard. And you listen to cool remixes. Okay, cool. Who cares? Top tracks is The Weeknd, Out of My Mind by Monsoon, Free Love by Horn, Me and You by Horn, Is It True by Tame Impala. Okay, that's pretty good. I like those songs. Obviously, I played them a lot. Four Big Guys is on here as well. Wow. That's uh, how many times? Uh, 95 times. <laughs> Independent music is the, my most listened to music. What the fuck? And then electronic dance music, then pop music, then British rhythm and blues. And then J-pop. What the fuck? You had 150k minutes? What are you doing all the time? How, how do you even have... How you... Is that... What? How? 58% of your listening was songs on repeat. I feel called out. Now, I wish I could show you this on PC. 55% of my music was amped up. <laughs> Your music personality is the beats boss. <laughs> you lead the trends and always keep the party amp, chat. That's me. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Chat.
I'm the beats boss. Uh, yeah, I like this phone so far. It's fine. It's literally the exact same as the Pixel 7, which is good. I really wanted to get the Fold. But yeah, like I said, I, I couldn't get a bike mount and also it would have been a bit more difficult to get it. Dude, I, I told this story on Trash Taste, but I'll, I'll just tell it you again, dude. I had a nightmare, chat. I had a nightmare trying to get a new phone. So I wanted the new phone and I went two days ago to the store. Do you guys want to hear it? Do you guys want to hear spoiler or not? Do you, I will spoil the story on Trash Taste, right? So you may, you may have deja vu, right? Yeah, you want a spoiler? All right. So. Um, wait, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, hold on. Let me. I want to order like a healthy lunch for when I'm done streaming. <laughs> I need a, it's not gonna be a long stream today because I'm gonna be playing um, VR later. Uh, I think uh, I'm joining Mouse on VR Among Us. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stream it. I haven't decided. I might, I might not. Uh, so it's gonna be a shorter stream today. Maybe like a three hour stream and then we'll 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 uh we'll do that. Um let me order some lunch. Please do not change scene, Connor. You will dox yourself. <laughs> I should <laughs> I'm why am I even playing with fire? I shouldn't even do this. I shouldn't even be here right now. Um all right, add that, add that to the add that, add that. I'm gonna try VR Among Us for the first time. Do you guys want me to stream it? I like, you guys are oh, of course you're gonna say yes. I don't know if I should. I've got to decide if I want to. All right. All right, one second, chat. Okay. Order. God damn. Salad is, salad is expensive. All right. All righty. Ordered. Okay. What was I saying? Oh, the story. So, right, chat. I wanted to buy this phone. Because my phone currently looks like this and doesn't work. Uh, I, I can sometimes open it. I sometimes can't. Um, so I wanted to buy the Pixel 7 Pro. I decided on this one because I just thought it would be easy and I wouldn't have to really think much. And, you know, it works fine. I like it. Um, so, um, yeah, this, the pixels were like fucked on the screen. So I was like, okay, well, I'm with this provider in Japan called SoftBank. Now, SoftBank is one of the, like the three or four main providers in Japan. And I bought my last phone from Google directly. So it's this unlocked SIM-free phone because Japan has this culture of having, they, they really like locking phones to networks. Um, in the UK, it's really easy to not do this. Um, so um, I, I, I have SIMs with other people. Like I have, I have like five SIMs because I have my backpack, right? So I have like two Docomo SIMs, but I just had SoftBank because I had it for a while. And SoftBank is really good in Tokyo. So I had a SIM card with SoftBank that was a SIM only card, right? Um, so I, I go to SoftBank and I'm like, hey, I want to get a new, a new phone because my phone is broken. Bear in mind, I had to book. So in Japan now, since COVID, they, they made it so that you had to, uh, you had to book to go into the phone store um and and you can't just rock up now right you you which sucks because it's like okay what if i just break my phone or i want fix like you have to you have to you have to go and make a fucking appointment so so i then go to the store i have to waiting a day even though my phone's broke i wanted to go on the day but i couldn't because I, I had to make a reservation i booked it and i go the next day and i asked them like hey so i currently have this issue with softbank where i should be able to have tethering on but because I didn't buy my phone through that provider, they don't allow tethering, which sucks because, if, you know, a lot of friends come to Japan and I, I want to give them internet when they're hanging out with me so they don't have to worry about it. Like when my parents come, right? I want them to be able to just, yeah, just connect to my hotspot. Don't worry about it. Because a lot of the Wi-Fi, the free Wi-Fi sims you buy at the airport or the rental ones, they're like the worst modems, the worst sims. They're so bad. Like basically, if you're renting internet in Japan from one of these Wi-Fi rental places, they they suck. They give you the worst, like the worst internet. Um, and the normal sims in Japan are insane. It's like you can, you know, I mean, you can stream a video off one sim. I just have like like two for and four, sorry, uh, for like redundancies. So you know, I wanted to be able to tether my Wi-Fi. So I was like, okay, well, I'll buy the phone this time through the provider that I'm already with, and I'll have tethering on. And they go, oh no no no, we can't do that. And I'm like, what do you what do you mean you can't, what do you mean you can't do that? And they're like, oh well, yeah, you, it, it won't work. I'm like, what do you what do you mean? He's like, oh well, so um, the phone you're buying is a SoftBank phone, 
and the and the sim you have is a SoftBank free sim. I'm like, what do you what? What does that mean? He's like, well, so that sim from SoftBank is only designed to work on unlocked phones. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. So if you want to have tethering, you got to buy a SoftBank phone and then change to a SoftBank only sim. And I was like, what? So you're telling me if I buy a phone from SoftBank and I have a SIM card from SoftBank, I can't use them both? He was like, nah, it doesn't work. Can't do it. What? What do you mean? Like, fine, all right, geez, okay. All right, fine, okay, whatever. And I'm like, well, can I, you know, all right, fine. Um, can I, can I maybe just get a new plan? Can I get a new ca SIM card plan? that'll have tethering enabled and for the SoftBank phone. And he goes, oh, no, 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 you can't do that. I was like, what, why? He's like, oh, cause your, your, your visa is about to expire this month, but I'm getting it, I'm getting it uh, renewed. And he's like, no, you can't, can't buy it. You can't have a new SIM card cause your visa is gonna expire. And he said, he was like, you know, sometimes foreigners run away when they get, when they get a SIM plan. I'm like, what? I'm with you right now. What do you mean? And so, they won't let me buy a phone with straight up in cold hard cash and they won't let me change my plan or like just do the exact same thing. I'm paying for the exact same thing just on a new plan. They won't let me do that because my visa's scammed. Like, uh, visa scammed. My visa's expiring. I read the word scammed in chat. So I asked him, I'm like, wait, so are you gonna, are you gonna like stop my current SIM card? He's like, oh, no, 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 it's fine. You can keep using it. I'm like, what, what? He's like, yeah, so we just can't change your plan because your visa doesn't have at least three months on it. I'm like, what? So, so, so nothing is going to change. And even if I went to this plan, nothing would change. But the fact that my visa is about to expire, even though I'm renewing it, you won't let me have another one? He's like, no, 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 sorry. What? And I'm like, okay, well, can I at least just buy the phone and I'll just keep using the same SIM? He's like, oh, no, no, no it won't work. What do you, what? He's like, we only sell locked phones. Phones that only work with our, our providers. I'm like, what? What do you mean? So they wouldn't even sell me anything. They, was like, they wouldn't do anything. So I was like, all right, fuck. All right, wow. Okay, great. And, and I, the reason I didn't want to, the real reason why I didn't want to just buy it again through Google is because I was like, all right, well, I, I wouldn't be able to do the tethering. And it would take two to three days for Google to deliver the phone for me. Because you can't just go to a store and buy uh, an unlocked phone. So I went to uh, another place, like in Big Camera, it's a kind of like a the best buy of Japan, if you will. Um, they have a floor in the like really big stores that is dedicated to cell phones. And, and all the providers have like a little booth there. So you can go and ask them. And I talked to this nice lady uh, and I'm basically like, hey, yeah, this is the deal. They won't give me one. Uh, can I get one? Uh, and then she was like, well, it's tough. Because your visa is expiring, we can't give you a new plan. Bear in mind, I already have uh, uh, two... Uh, Yorobashi camera, sorry. I already have two plans with this other provider for my Japanese uh, streaming bag for the Hokkaido thing. So I already have two SIM cards. And they were like, yeah, we can't give you a new plan because your visa is about to expire. It's, it's a government policy. I'm like, fuck. She's like, yeah, best thing to do is get the phone from Google, unlocked, cancel your plan with SoftBank, come to us, and then we'll give you a SIM that allows you to tether. And because you already have two SIMs with us, the third one, when you get it, will give you 10% off every SIM you already have. And I was like, all right, sure. That sounds pretty good. Fine. So I guess when I, when I come back from, uh, when I come back from uh, America, and I get my new visa, uh, I'm gonna go and uh, go to SoftBank. Not SoftBank. I'm gonna go. Oh, well, I'm gonna go SoftBank, cancel it, and then go to go to Docomo and get another SIM. Yeah, I, got, I have an unlocked phone again. What is it? Someone asked, "What is a locked and unlocked phone?" So a lot of providers they don't really do this a lot in the UK anymore. This should be like a thing they used to do ten years ago. But I think a lot of EU regulation, which was actually goaded, thank you EU for actually doing some good stuff, um, forced these cell phone providers to stop being as scummy as they were. Um, they basically, they used to make it so that if you bought a phone from say T-Mobile, it would only work on T-Mobile. 
Um, so yeah, they uh, in in Amer in like the UK, it wasn't really like a thing. This didn't really happen as much unless you got a contract with them. Um, so that yeah, that sucked. Yeah, so it's whatever. Locked and unlocked phones are super common in the US. Do you still get like if obviously if you get a contract, let's say you get a contract where you get the phone, you don't pay anything on the phone and you get the SIM and you pay 40 bucks a month. That makes sense that then the phone would be locked because obviously you've signed a contract to keep paying off this phone. So that makes sense. But when I'm just straight up buying the phone, it makes no sense to have it locked. I'm just devaluing this phone. Now this phone is worth less. Like if I buy it from Google and it's unlocked, I, I can I can resell it. I can give it back to Google and make more money. Like every time I bought unlocked phones, I had such a better trade-in value when I wanted to upgrade. Like when I went to the Pixel 6 Pro, I traded in my Pixel 4 or whatever, and I got like 400 bucks off or something stupid. And I was like, great, this is awesome. I hate this phone, it sucks. I can't wait to get rid of it. You still buy locked phones uh, without a contract, like from Amazon? Oh, wow, that's strange. And yeah, yeah, it does unlock after a certain amount of time with carriers, yeah. Just annoying. All this shit is so backwards in Japan, man. This is why streaming, like streaming backpacks and stuff in Japan are really hard to, to set up. Because you basically need a lot of people just like, like I think the IRL, uh, IRL, one of the other, the big company that gives out IRL bags, they just use the SIM cards that work anywhere in the world. The problem is, is that like, if you ever leave Tokyo, a lot of those things don't work as well. Like the, the, the bands that they use, I don't know, this is like so complicated, but there's like bands and certain foreign sims can't access some japanese bands because japan decided to make their phone network completely different i'm so sorry chat this whole rant i had to learn this the, the insane way japan basically made a mobile like infrastructure that isn't very compatible with the rest of the world so even if you bring your like sims that work anywhere in the world including japan you can't actually access the full spectrum of like internet that japan sims have it's really annoying um, so when we did, when we did the Hokkaido, uh, cycling thing, right? I had to, I went and got, uh, two more, uh, Docomo Sims because they work really well in rural parts of Japan where like SoftBank and, and even like the, the foreign Sims that I have just don't work well. But yeah, do they even have 5G yet? I think they do, but it's not very common. Yeah. Japan, Japan built their infrastructure different. They did not want it to interact. <laughs> Like when I bought the, um, I had a, I used to have a OnePlus 7 Pro, I think. I mean, I still have it. Um, and, uh, that phone just straight up did not work in Japan. Like it, it wasn't able to work with a SIM card in Japan. Um, like OnePlus just, do, like I, maybe the newer OnePlus phones do, but back then the OnePlus phones just straight up did not work in Japan because they, they couldn't access, uh, like the, the same bands. Fucking stupid shit. I hate I hate all this cell phone provider stuff. It's it's so frustrating. So frustrating. Yeah. Even if you bought an unlocked sim, like a, a, a sim free uh, unlocked thing, it wouldn't work with the OnePlus 7 work when I had it. Didn't Japan? Yeah, you can't buy OnePlus stuff in Japan. Uh, a lot of Chinese phones you can't buy in Japan. They just flat out don't want them. I'm not sure why. Um, I think they just don't want them. <laughs> They're like, none of that. Thank you very much. They make it as complicated as they can, so you settle. I think that's it. I think they make this stuff as, as frustrating as possible so that you never, ever want to, never, ever want to change or try anything else. If it was easy, you'd swap, right? Like in the UK, um, if you ever visit the UK, guys, uh, we have a thing called Gift Gaff that it's not the best, like, quality, but it's so cheap. And I always tell people who are coming to the UK, for, like, a small a short trip you can like ship the sim to anywhere in the world i'm pretty sure so you can get this sim sim shipped to you in like i don't know america or japan and then you pay like five bucks and you can get internet for a whole month on your trip it's insane it's so good um where am i in one piece not that far i need to get further um i'm still about a quarter of the way it's hard, chat. I, I'm going to try and read some on the trip, but it's it's tough because I'm filming everything while I'm doing it. I like it so far. It's still a bit slow. I'm getting there. I'm still in the Alabaster arc, but I'm not going to talk about it much. 
Is there Xiaomi in Japan? I don't think so. <laughs> I've never hit, seen anything like that. Japan's also pretty loyal to the iPhone. They're very loyal to the iPhone. There's not a quarter. I'm like 25 volumes in. I think something like that. I don't fucking know. Something like that. I don't know. An X amount in. S six pound for one gigabyte of data. That's pretty decent. At one pound. I, I think. I guess it's all right. You know, it's all right. All right. Still. Yeah, I haven't made any progress because I've been so busy with the tour and stuff. And I'm going to make progress, chat. I promise. Okay. I promise. All right. Am I watching Chainsaw Man? I am. I'm not super far into it, but I'm doing all right with it. I'm I'm generally just streaming and doing too much stuff. I'm trying to not make my January crazy, so I have more time to film stuff and stream. Um, I'm trying to limit traveling next year. Always busy. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. We pay 70 bucks a month for four gigabytes in Canada. I pay 80 bucks in Japan, but I have like unlimited and it's like, it's pretty goddamn fast. Like you can stream shit in like 4K, no problem. I travel a lot. I do travel a lot. Ever since COVID kind of stopped, like opened, well, it's not stopped, but ever since Japan kind of opened, I kind of just started traveling a shit ton more. I just want to, you know, I, I, I missed it for a while, so I kind of got back into it. Do I get homesick? Not really. Google Fi? I want a Google Fi so bad, but if you stay outside of America for like six months, it like turns it off. It like bricks it. So that sucks. Do you like Indian food? I love Indian food. Any any recommendations for claw game centers around Tokyo? The further out you go from Tokyo, the easier they become. The Tokyo, like central, central Tokyo machines are a lot harder. Like the, the Gigo, as it's now called, in Shinjuku. That one's tough. That one's very tough. You you will spend a lot of money to get prizes. Um, uh, if you go to the Taito station that I always go to, the one in Fuchu, that one's really good. Problem is it's about an hour outside of, like an hour from like Shinjuku. So it's pretty tough to get there. Uh, but you can spend all day there. It's, it's, it's like... I've been to so many crane game places and I think it's the best one. It's got the best prizes. It's got the most machines. It's so good. And that's why I always keep going back there. They just have like the best shit. They have so many machines. Um, what is it? Fuchu Auto Station. You should go there, guys. If you, if you want to get like a full crane game experience, this is the best place to go to. Um... Yeah. Yeah, this is like the spot. Taito Station Fuchu. This is the best place to go. This is the best place to go to. For sure. I think so, at least. What do you consider the best prize? Um, I mean, I'm a big plushy guy. I dox myself. Ah, it's all good. All good chat. All right. Doxing incoming? Nah, it's fine. I was just sharing the Google map of it. <laughs> Ever thought about a South Asia tour? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think best prize is always cinema roll. <laughs> if you ask mouse, yeah. There's like... Like, figures are often... Ugh, it's tough. Some figures, if they're worth a lot... Sorry, I keep... My nose is so itchy today, sorry. All the coke I did. <laughs> Kidding. So, like... Um, certain, um, certain figures from certain shows go up in value a lot, uh, because they're limited, right? So, like, let's say if you get, um, uh, what is it? Like, you get a, like, um, like an Anya figure. Like, Anya figures are worth a, a decent amount, because there's not many of them, and they, they'll resell for quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, it's, um, interesting. It's interesting. Is the Ludwig unboxing over? Yeah. He didn't actually send me as many stuff as maybe I sent him. So I think it was a little... It wasn't a lot to unbox. I have a few different ideas of um, how we could maybe do some crane game videos. Um, I'm I'm going to try some, some, some different ways of making some more interesting content. Do you ever play the Kuji? 
Uh, I do. I off. I, I there's always those gacha machines. I always do them, and they're such a waste of money. I, but I'm just there for the thrill. Like maybe I'll get some money. You know what I mean, chat? Maybe I'll win something. You know? <laughs> Man shopped at Walmart and sent it to you. <laughs> maybe. I think so. I really want to do a video where I go with like 300 bucks, and I I but I don't know how to title or thumbnail it. Like I. I spent 300 bucks in crane games and then I try to resell all the stuff I win and see how much money I can get from reselling and see if I can make more or how much I can kind of break even uh, from the prizes. But sell it only in Japan, like not like online or anything. I want to see if I can like flip it. Crane flippers, how what would you sell it? Like, how would you sell it like chat? Like how would you thumbnail and title? What is it? How do we, can I make money from Crane? I made money from Crane games. Hmm. What's the title? Selling stuff to peasants. Okay, that's a good one. Keep that in the maybe. Insane Crane game prize. Okay, well that. Can you, oh, no, we need to, it needs to be snappy chat, snappy. Can you make money from Crane games? I became a millionaire from Crane, eh, maybe. I tried selling $300 crane games. Crane games are booby. Well, that, I don't know about that one. How to double your money with crane games. <laughs> How I profited $1,000. Pyramid scheme crane games. I came with crane. Okay, well, that's... <sighs> All right. Hmm. 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 You won't believe how I made money. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of some figures that like, so like I won. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. In an upcoming video. I won this figure. I won this figure, right? And I won this for maybe... I want to say I won it for like 25 to 30 bucks. And I saw it in Akihabara with uh, with Rob going for like 40 bucks. And some people were putting it for 60. So I'm like, damn, okay, maybe I could, I could, maybe if I'm really tactical about it, I could make some money. I kind of wish I didn't throw away a bunch of the other crane games now. I wonder, I, I wonder if I could... It's like 110 there. It's a pretty good figure. It's very heavy. I wonder if I went tactically around only stores where I think that I could win really high quality prizes. Problem with plushies. Plushies, you can often get them in like five to 10 bucks if you'll like get very lucky. And it, it's, it's not too unheard of to do it, but they only ever really sell for 20 to 30 bucks. But the, some of the figures sell really well. I don't know. I wonder. I know that you can take the prizes to the store, like some of these secondhand stores, and just ask them, hey, how much can I sell this for? And they'll just tell you. Yeah. I got reincarnated as a crane game flipper. I think we could maybe make a profit. I think I should do this video. I think I should do this. I'll, I'll get 300 bucks. I'll try and get only really good shit. And then I'll, I'll see how much I can sell it. It's so hard to restrain yourself from not buying stuff at Akihabara. I don't normally buy stuff from Akihabara. I normally buy it from like online now. Because when you're living in Japan, it's way easier to like just get it cheaper online. And like, you know, like Mandarake, which is a great store where you can buy stuff. All of their stock is online. So you can just see what they have going online. Um, And so... You know, there's not really much incentive to, I guess, go to in store. Like, if I go to, let me go to JoJo's on this thing. Will it come up in English? They normally have a JoJo section. Where is it? It's Dojinshi's. Hold on, chat. Let me see if I, oh, here it is. Yeah. Um, let me have a look. 
Yeah, so it'll like show you like this chat. You can just go here and it will just, you know, all the stuff's listed. So like this figure is 3,500 yen. Um, and then we can go to the, let's, let's, let's sort it by most expensive. Plus 18. Oh, we're not going to click on it, chat. Don't worry. Let's do price uh, descending. Holy moly. 900 bucks. No, no, wait. Wait, what? Wait, this is, oh, they're all sold out. Let's hide sold out. Where is it? Um, in stock. Okay, no. Where is it? Hide. Oh, hide. Hide R18. Show sold out. We don't want to show sold out. Am I dumb? Where is it? Like, all of these are sold out. Shit, the Swarov... Yeah, did you guys see this? They had a Swarovski... Swarovski, is how you say it? Jojo figure. They have a bunch of them. Oh, this... Wait, is it the one that... Is it the statue that Joey bought? Yes, this is the one that Joey bought for a grand. Now it's 600 bucks. <laughs> oh. Top left. Really? What? Oh, whatever. Uh, what else do they have that's good? The Bucciarati. Oh, they have these in stock. The Giorno. These are like the big figures, the one I have over there, like the big ones. Oh, whoa. What? Oh, 100 cards. Those posters. Some of these are so expensive, though. Like, this is a... This is like a... A figure like this big. Of, like, White Snake. That's, like, posable. No cinema rolls? They have cinema rolls. They have, they have those. They're expensive, though. They previously looked at. Okay. Wait, was that... What was that? Hold on. It says hide sold out. Am I dumb? Where? Oh, there. Got it. <laughs> I got it in the end, chat. What is this? JoJo's Strange Stand Collection. All right. Uh, Wait, what? That looks cheap. That can't be right. What is this? Oh, it's tiny. I thought it was the big one. This shit is so expensive, man. Some of the stuff is really expensive. Well, I, I, a lot of JoJo figures, I think, look mid. What? I paid 500 bucks for this one. Fuck. That's gone for 350. That's like, now that's like 280 bucks in dollars. That's such a good fucking price. Oh my God, chat. I got mugged off. Yo, what is this? What the fuck? Oh, it's like the... <laughs> Is there like a weight to it? It's 10... Gr 10 grams? 10 grams? It's Dio's castle, but it's tiny. Yo, I've seen this one before. This figure's sick. Vanilla ice. Something like a child would make. Dude, some of these figures are pretty neat. I've, I haven't seen some of these. There's a lot of really cool rare figures they have listed, but like, you know, they only had it once or something. What is this? Paint. Posters. Whoa, this post is $80? I've got that right there. I had this figure too. Gaunt got me this for Christmas, but I think Gaunt, when this was out, this was like 20 bucks. I'm doing another figure contest this year. I'd like to. I don't know how we need. We got to figure out a way to make it better though. I love this poster. This poster's sick. They, at one point, they had, like... Someone has, like, a signed... I saw it on Yahoo Auctions. Somebody had, like, a signed 
JoJo uh, poster by Araki. And it was like five grand or something. And I was like, mm, I should buy it. I should buy it. I should buy it. It's history. It's history. I thought that'd be hype. I almost bought the blue poster last time I ordered. Dude, you shit. Jojo. We type in Jojo Shikichi. Let's see if it comes. Oh, I won't come up because I'm typing it in English. Um, now I can't search. Why? I read there's some really insane Jojo stuff somewhere. So I got like nearly all of these posters. Uh, really cheap. I think each of these posters was about twenty bucks each. Uh, I managed to get a steal on Yahoo Auction, and also I bought them from the JoJo exhibit when that was around. I haven't finished part six yet. I need to finish part six. I still haven't finished it yet. I haven't even read part, um, like seven. No, not seven. Fuck, what am I saying? Eight. I don't know. Fake fan. I know, chat. I know. I'm fake. It's so funny you didn't like Cheez Its. Damn, that shit was sucked, man. Cheez Its suck. You guys actually like Cheez Its? None of you actually like Cheez Its, right? 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 I don't know why I can't get around to Jolian, man. I. Ugh. I think, I think there's so much other stuff, and there's some for some reason I don't want to read it yet. I don't know why. There's something in my brain that's like, don't read it yet. I don't know. I don't know. Some point. What the fuck are cheese? It's this dog shit. This flavor was by far the worst. This one was a fucking crime against humanity. This is fucking awful. There's no world upon which I would make my worst enemy eat that. Dreadful. Dreadful stuff. <laughs> Bad. Are you guys still playing Overwatch, by the way? Is Overwatch... Are people still into that? I, I I play a game every now and then. Just wondering if everyone's still really into it. Just... No? No? All right. <sighs> Pretty much. Yeah, no. Now nah, they fucked up. They're just so slow with patches. They're too slow. Too slow. Mail them to me. No, I'm not mailing them, chat. I, I barely have the energy to mail stuff on my own. Right? N no one... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say it. I want loot boxes back. <laughs> I do too, chat. They were so good. We didn't realize how good we had it. I mean, we, to be fair, they were, I remember when they came out, everyone's like, this is a scam. And to be fair, they kind of were. But I, I realized, man, the new system sucks. Sucks. All right. Do you like tackies? I do like tackies. I think tackies are goaded. I think tackies are very good. I think tackies are like top three American crisp. Crisps. American crisps. I have to say, chat. I'd have to say so. Um... Uh... Let me have a look real quick. Sorry, chat. All right. Takis hurt your stomach? Weak. You're weak. They're Mexican. I'm saying, when I say America, I mean like continental America. That's right. That's a, yeah. The entire America. Uh, Mexico is part of America, chat. I know I'm pronouncing it incorrect. That's because I'm British, chat, all right? He didn't. They, I'd say Flaming Hot Cheetos are the best. And then Tacky's the second best for me. I think so. Top th three crisps worldwide. <sighs> Dude, Paprika... No, the, the Flaming Hot Walker's Max crisps are the number one. Then McCoy's, probably second. And then either like Monster Munch or Walker's a third. I love Flaming Hot Cheetos, but I just... I don't think America... Like, the, the UK has a crisp culture. America doesn't have nearly as strong as a crisp culture as the UK. Our crisps are so much nicer than American ones. They're so goddamn good, dude. So good. We're, dude, everyone, everyone eats crisps all the time in the UK. And they're so much better than American ones. I love, I love Doritos too. I love Doritos. 
But I'm telling you, man, the UK crisps are so much better. You guys just haven't had them. Anyone who thinks that they're lame or they're not as good, I, I'm telling you, chat, it's so much better. The UK, the UK crisps are way better. Way cleaner, much more flavorful. They taste better. Just so much better. Right? I'm telling you, chat. You don't know. When when you go when you go to the UK, you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see, chat. You'll see. Sour cream and cheddar. Dude. Oh my god, dude. So good. So goaded. UK crisps goated. Alright. They have a lot of obese people. Yeah, that's how you know it's good, because we have the most obese people in Europe, I think. Uh highest obesity rate Europe. Oh, are we first? Iceland? What the fuck are they doing up there? Why are they trying to take our prize? This you according to the study, all UP of all European countries, the UK ranks fourth. Oh, I thought we had the most. Wait, who's got the highest then? Let me type in Europe, obesity. Obesity rate. Here we go. Oh my god, this is fucking PDF. Bro, I don't want the PDF, I wanted the pick. This is Germany? Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. Let's have a look. Obesity percentage. Oh, Turkey has the highest. UK is... Second, according to this map. No, Malta is second, then the UK is third. UK has a 27% obesity rate. God damn. See, I didn't think... I didn't think the UK had that bad obesity, but then my Japanese friend went to the UK and was like, Sugoi! UK! Jin! Motto! Sugoi! Futoru! I was like, oh yeah, I guess so. I was like, wow. I guess so, yeah, I guess I didn't think about it. I was like, yeah, I guess so. I loved it when they when they explain it. Cho <laughs> futoru! I was like, oh yeah, I guess so. I guess so, yeah. I think about it. I guess we are. My parents were like insane with sports. They were like, if you don't do sports, we will disown you. If you are not healthy, we will murder you. Obesity rate in France is 17%. But the food's bad. No one wants to eat it. <laughs> I'm kidding. French food is good. All right. Okay. All right. Fine. It's good. The UK is the ugly bastard tag. Of Europe. <laughs> All I gotta do is like that, chat. All I gotta do is like that. All right, chat. All right, chat. Here's what's up. I gotta, I gotta do some more work, and then I have to leave later, and then I'll be back doing um, uh, VR Among Us tonight. Um, so yes, I gotta get that all set up and ready. Um. Gamers, that's later tonight, all right? But now I gotta go. So let's raid someone. I don't know who's online. Let's see who's online right now. Stream again today. Yeah, so we'll stream again later tonight. And like eight hours or something. I don't know how long. Oh, N Nan's online. All right, let's raid Nan. All right. Chat, thank you so much for joining. I should do a YouTuber outro uh, for the scam wig. All right. Well, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the content of the YouTube. Well, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the Connor Dog YouTube channel if you haven't already, and check out the streams live at twitch.tv slash if you haven't already. We're live like three, four times a week. Bye! All right, nailed it. Definitely didn't do a second take there. <laughs> All right, chat, thank you so much for joining. Hope you enjoyed the Scamwig stream. Hopefully, uh, we'll do this again, and Ludwig will send me good stuff this time. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining, guys. I'll see you guys later tonight. Bye, guys! Bye! Be nice to the end. Bye! Oh, there's something's in the way. Wait, I can't raid now. Why? Why? I can't press raid. What? What? I can't raid. General Lee gave five subs. Now I can't raid. I guess we're waiting. I guess we're trapped here forever. Can the raid go through or, or what? Can I? Oh, there we are. I can do it. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.